Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Whoop at me. Testing, testing, testing. Five, six, nine. I am now currently possibly maybe online. You think they're going to copyright strike me for this? Hey, good evening! Hope you're all doing well. Good morning, good morning. I meant to stream yesterday. That did not happen, so I'm streaming early today. A good, like, uh, oh god, six or so hours or so early. How goes the B-Day? It went well. I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> it went well. Uh, that being said, a friend sent me this, uh... Very, very fluffy coat. It's like a, it's like a fluffy winter robe, and it's, it's really warm. It, I'm starting to sweat. Actually, I need to like, <laughs> need to like, take it off, but then like wrap it around my chest. It's like a big blanket. Ooh. I think he's a uh, band hammer. Am I bandit? Oh. Jeans are supposed to have fluffy winter coats. This is correct. That, that is true. You are correct. That is very, very true. Oh god, I meant to do, uh, I meant to do something. In the meantime. Oh god, let me see if I can still do it now. Oh god, can I do it right now? Think? Maybe? Possibly? Uh, and yes, I may have Persona 3 on the mind. Just a bit. Just a bit, though. God, I'm up way too early. Uh, where is... My mode slot thing. There we go. Okay, do this. Oh, it's not square-shaped. Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Mind suffer some mass destruction, I see. You may be correct. You may be very correct. Time to go back and feed Spacey's Dragon Quest obsession. You know, I was thinking, like, what would I even want to stream, uh... What would I even want to stream birthday-wise? And I genuinely couldn't think of something I really wanted to do, and it was like, you know what, I want to play more Dragon Quest, why not? I wanted to do that last night. That was not in the cards, so I decided to do it a little bit later uh, today instead. No oh, man. There we go. This. Again, trying to uh, fight myself and not... Uh, fight myself and not sh uh, play Persona 3 before the remake. Even though I really want to. If anything, I could probably play the, uh, uh, the female playthrough for the portable game. I could always do that. Not a big fan of it, but, you know, I could do it. 
say I did. Happy post birthday. Hey, thank you. Happy day after birthday. <laughs> grazie. Grazie, grazie. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing really well. I read a tweet from some of the news saying that they have gallstones. Is that they were talking about some nebulous gotcha currency? So I was going to start cash remark that I hope they pass smoothly before realizing it was exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not a. Gallstones are not a uh, gotcha currency. <laughs> You can start for answer to kill interest in playing before Reloaded's out, man. <laughs> I hate thinking about the answer. Oh, how's the Dragon Gross playthrough is going? Very well. I haven't streamed in about like five days. Gotta amend that. Hey, thank you, Fuki. And thank you, Flu. So early? Very early. I want a lot of time. I want a lot of time to stream this today. Ooh, that was not a clean cut. That was not a clean cut for that for that thing. I'm very upset. They re-released the Trails of Cold Steel. Oh yeah, that's right. I did hear about that, didn't I? Right, right. A friend is really into trails. I don't know if I really want to play it, but I feel like I'll at least try it. At least watch. I know what you meant, Nonbread. <laughs> I know what you meant. Oh, man. Is that an older Yeen? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, the answer. I may play a little bit of the portable one before it comes out. I'd love to do a whole FES run, but that game is long. Oh, man. It is long. Okay. I'm debating, like, do I want to just order a lot of caffeine? Do I just want to, like, ingest energy drinks today? Inhale. I'm not, I'm not 49, no. Hopefully some B-Day stuff. You know, honestly... Honestly, I thought about it. I gave it. I gave it a long thought as to what I would want to do. Instead, I decided I don't really know how to celebrate birthdays at all. I don't really know what to do. And I figured the thing that you're supposed to do on your birthday is maybe just do something that you want to do. And I meant to do that yesterday, and I got sick. So instead, I'm here. Uh, and I thought, like, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll play my latest addiction. I'll play a shit ton of Dragon Quest. That's what I'll do. You sing karaoke? That just sounds sweet. But the reason why I didn't stream yesterday was because I had a migraine. But regardless, that is a sweet idea. Back my leg. I thought it could be a nice thing. Caffeine IV drip. I kind of want that. You want to believe how much I would want that. Uh, espresso is in my blood. Uh, oh, well, let's see. Well, what I like about it is you. Hey. I guess I'll uh, get caffeine situated. It's your sister's birthday, too? Oh, happy birthday to your sis! Hey, thank you, Thyrek. Oh, they <laughs> move. Thank you, Dino Dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I don't know how to celebrate birthdays. I just make it one day I buy myself cake and try to chill as much as possible. Maybe like whiskey or beer. Oh, uh, you know, actually, yeah, you know, I have bourbon or something would have probably been nice. Maybe like apple cider. I didn't think about that. Damn it. And hey, thank you for the five gift subs, Moo. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I should make some instant coffee. I mean, if you want it, go for it. You just woke up, right? You haven't been up for that long. Spacey gets a migraine on his birthday. <laughs> I had some nice talks with my family, if anything. And I... You know what I did get to do? I got to play some Monster Hunter with the volume very quiet. And I now have the rainbow color. And now I'm happy. You know you've been up for 12 hours? I thought you got like... Was, did, was it really like 4am? Did you really wake up at like 4am? 
fuck was that far away? I thought like... Oh my god, you did. Oh, and then I passed back out. Oh, yeah, and then I slept and drooled everywhere. That's how you know I sleep really well, I drool a little bit. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hi! Hi! Yeah! Sorry, I meant to say, like, something that my brain, like, got, like, shot there. I don't know. But, yes, I hope my day goes well. I hope your day goes good, too. <laughs> Happy birthday, Spacey. Fi finally three years old. <laughs> oh, my. They marks another whole year of a yin whooping being the only thing you can hear out in space. I mean, it acts like it's nice echo locator. I mean, usually where there's a hyena, there's, like, snacks. So, I mean, that's nice. Can go and ask him for the snacks. Oh, man. Thir who said anything about 30s? We'll be able to stay too long. I phone DQ4. Hey, I hope you have a good night. I hope you take care, Articus. Uh-huh. Just want me to you just want me to fulfill my promise I said when I turned 35. Ah So when I turned 35, I'd canonically give my Sona a gray muzzle. Ah There we go. Where is the thing? This a hey, hap <laughs> I almost said happy birthday back. I've done that three times, by the way. That's gray muzzle age. Uh, that's what I was told like 10 years ago, that you gotta be 35 and have 10 years inside the furry community, and then you can legally have a gray muzzle. <laughs> that's what I was told. I realize how awful that sounds, but it makes me laugh. Oh, man. Uh, oh, my arms. Anime old? No, anime old is like 23. <laughs> Animate when they when the characters start calling themselves old man, they're like Celine? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, on. Star Ocean 2 Celine. Age. How old is Celine? Uh hold on, Acacia. <laughs> She's 23! <laughs> Celine is 23, and she constantly talks about how she's like getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Even somebody calls her an old woman, she gets fucking pissed. She's 23. <laughs> She's not old. <laughs> over the hill, Celine. <laughs> I just started my 20s and my life is already over. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like gatekeeping the daddy title. <laughs> oh my god. There are conditions where you can see yourself gray muzzle? No. <laughs> no, not really. I guess maybe when you, like, actually start going gray kind of thing. I guess maybe then you could call yourself, like, if your hair actually starts graying, you can call yourself gray. I think most people in their 20s feel like their lives are ending. That's just the, that's just kind of the shtick with this generation. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Why do they do that? It's because life expectancy was shorter in the Middle Ages. I... I don't know. Have you ever seen Celine's parents in that game? Like, they're older. Like, a lot older. And there's, like, really old men. There's people who live into, like, their hundreds in Star Ocean 2, so I don't know why Celine considers herself really old. Which is really funny, because when you play, uh, or when you watch the Star Ocean 2 anime, she's a fucking goblin and still calls herself an old lady. A fucking goblin. Oh my god. She's really good in the anime if you've never seen it. She is just absolutely obnoxious. Rena and Cloud will be sitting there like having like an actual heart-to-heart -heart discussion, and she's sitting there like fucking like snoring as loud as possible or openly trying to like change her clothes in the corner room, just saying like, oh just don't look over here. Oh man. It's this for you. <laughs> hey, thank you, Galta. Day going great. Day is definitely going good. Reminds me of the world at Warline. Most of the Marine Mirror is called the Old Blubble. Well, nearly all of them aren't out of their 20s. <laughs> hey, Gog Zero. Typically 23 year old behavior. Selene is fucking funny. I, I don't bring up the Star Ocean 2 anime much at all. It is, it is worth a watch. Even if it ends a little bit too early before the actual story is done, it is absolutely worth a watch. It's really funny. 
Also, Ashton gets really good characterization. Oh, well, that's... Ooh, I, no, I take that back, actually. No, he's got a really bad moment. <laughs> he's got a really... You know how Priestess is like... You know, she's like 16, 17, whatever, in Star Ocean 2. And she's kind of obnoxious and kind of valley girl. In the anime, they make her like... 10? Or something? Like 10 or 9? It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's not good. Ashton, Ashton gets a little bit of character assassination. Just a bit. Ah! Ugh. How is the yin? I'm doing well, like in the English translation? Both. <laughs> Both. It's because, it's because of one line in Star Ocean 2 where Ashton's like, I thought she was kind of cute. That one line, they take that, and in the anime, they make him have a crush on her, and it's... Oh, it's bad. Ah, oh, my. Let's see. Let me do this. Ashton Anchors is 21, by the way. Let me do that. Do this. You think 288 mods is too many for Bone Lab? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Worth. We gotta say it like that. We gotta say it like that. Just pick one, actually, no crush ever. I... Some character... I don't even know why Priestess is, like... So short. Oh, my God. Oh, also! Claude sounds like a surfer dude. And his name is Claude. And Rena is Reyna. No, wait, no. Or was it Rain or is Rana? Uh, they fucked her name up. I forgot how, though. Yeah, his name is Claude. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Gotta have a mod for every bone, though. Is that a real thing, or... Let me genuinely asking. Claude. The past tense of Claude is Claude. I think I hate that. Okay, yeah, sure, I got caffeine situated for when I need to inhale it. You mean in your playthrough? No, that's that's his name. I named him Claude in my playthrough because in the anime, they call him Claude. They don't call him Claude. They call him Claude. It's, like, actually awful. <laughs> All right. We do this. Speaking of which, I hope all your days went well. I'm sorry I didn't stream last night. I got like a wicked migraine and I cannot function when I have one. Genuinely, it's like everything just shuts down completely. I am I am not a well-rounded human being when that happens. Okay. Try to get beat, but they said no. Twitch, Twitch said stop feeding the hyena. That's why. Twitch said to stop feeding the yin. They're getting hungry. They're making more demands. Soon they'll file a yin union. <laughs> yin union. For more zebra cakes. Uh, here. How do I fight Mal Malkiath? Malkiath. Ooh, what? Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's, that's the end of the song. You know, I'm muting you. Yeah, that's the end of the song. You're not allowed to play the end of the song before the thing actually goes. That's illegal. That, that, that's the end of the song. There you go. Okay, fantastic. I need to get into my gay little corner. Where is the... Uh, hold on. Oh, God. Wrong, wrong screen. There we go. Hey! My head! There we go. Ah! Do not feed the kids. They demand much more. Oh, yes. Yes, it's got a trade in the gay little corner space. <laughs> ha! Oh, man. Loaf, you're missing the game. <laughs> Why was he peeking out like that? Why was he, like, slightly off-center from the... There we go. Oh, there, there you go. All right. Fantastic. 
Gonna pay each other for it, like... What, what? I don't- I don't think anybody wants to play Butts, though. They- they, they know what they did. They named the Butts the Hero of Win. They know what they did. Ah. This is so fun to listen to. It's such a nice intro. Space is around early. Yes, I am. Also, hey, Caustic, thank you for the 500 bits. The dressing is erroneous overall. Failing to completely cook the chicken is resulted in residual stench of blood and more pleasant odors. The sauce is too thick to bring out a deep flavor. The inconsistent cuts of the meat contribute to the servant's inability to rouse. So did you turn to chat GPT? Did you? Did you turn to a bot? Hey, they have the 200 bits just blarg one. There we go. Wait, what? That's what I said. Yeah, it just said Caustic. I can't believe Caustic was actually ChatGPT this whole time. I should have known. I should have known. Hey, Legendary Cory, thank you for the 25 gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. ChatGPT plagiarism, and that already plagiarism, if you think about it. Can't make that sound again. Hey, thank you, Legendary Cory. Y'all, I hope if you got the Associate High Nimbus, I hope you enjoyed that. The computer kicked my ass while I tried to fix it. I found out it's a retired product, so I was doomed to fail from the start. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Did it say anything? Because it told me nothing went through. It did say it, yes. It did say, uh, it did say your weird fish cook- or chicken cooking thing. It did say it. It's bad I really like the naming screen. Like, just the dun-dun-dun-dun-dun kind of thing. Right, Endor. It was Where So's monologue. Oh god, I forgot it was. That is Where So's monologue. God. Ken, thank you so that much, Legendary Gory. Put my two cents at you, because I want the change out of my wallet. Okay, fair enough. Welcome back, Torneco. Goodness, great goddess, may you watch over and protect this poor child. Amen. All right. I'm back to capitalism, ho. Geez, fake fan much? Perish. Is that how his name is said? Yes, more salt. You don't say more salt. <laughs> That's your wondering. It's more salt. He's French. Da -da 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 -dum 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 -dum. <laughs> Play birthday. Hey, thank you, Amex goodies. Thank you, thank you. Where pepper? The fuck am I again? Hey, you. What town am I in? All oh, right, I'm in Endor. Wait, no. Is that the continent or the? It's the town. Okay, good. Right. Got it. Um, who the fuck am I supposed to see again? Did I already visit the prince? I'm supposed to visit a prince, right, and give him like a message or something. I think I did. Fat old man this game. Yes, he plays the merchant who wants to be the best arms dealer in the land, and that is a very, very concerning goal in life, but we love him. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Basie, why am I so big? Because he, he's a merchant. Despite being very broke at the start. <laughs> His goal is he wants to be an arms dealer, yes. Blue Space Tree must be my birthday. Oh, happy birthday there. Hey, thank you. Hey, Matt Stallion Guard. There's some about seeing a dude at night. Did I do that already? I think I saw the dude at night, didn't I? Sorrow the Manslayer. He practically had a bad, but he disappeared halfway through the proceedings. Right, because the one monk lady. Is that how you do to get fat? Become merchant? I think so. Right, I have the prince's letter now. My beloved Rani, I still didn't mention anything of our affair to Da. I'm here after finding out that he plans to invade your dear land of Endor. I had to do something for that happen. Please inform your father before it's too late, but the princess of Endor isn't around to listen. Uh, so I bring this to the other king then, right? I have Zeeb cake? Of course you can. I think I bring this to the other king to try and stop the war. 
I'm honored to welcome a guest from such a far off place. It appears you are of some kind of merchant. You were come to ask permission to establish a. Yes. Oh, a shop! Yes, I would like to establish a shop in Endor. Say it, find the princess of Endor? Yeah. Find the princess letter in the Amdame select like used to read to. <laughs> Wait, just tell me how to do it. Wait, is this Princess Veronica? Am I crazy? Oh, okay. All right, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Capitalism a go-go. Yep, our goal is to make money and build place. My beloved Rani, I still didn't mention anything about our affair to Dom. Just after finding the plans to invade our dear land of Endor, I had to do something before that happened. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, my Regan. So selfless, I must inform father at once. Daddy! Ah, my dear Veronica, I know I overheard what that gentleman said. But there's no cause for alarm. Now it's Mr. Taloon, I believe. I would like you to deliver this letter to His Majesty King Seamus of Bali Morale. Okay. I'll go to Bali Morale. Spacey. Listen! I was, I was trying to reference something, I forgot what the reference actually is. I trust I can rely on you, it's most important. Listen, father, you say father. How do you see opposite? You gotta have cadence. Wasn't that the king from the first chapter, Bally Morale? I think so, yeah. Uh, I think yes. Uh, there's a church, there's an inn, armory. I have a decent amount of money. Yes, that's exactly what it was, Brave. Yes, that's exactly how the Velma player says, Daphne, Frederick. That's exactly what I was remembering. Thank you. Uh, that iron apron's really good, actually. Wow. Um. Yeah. Let's uh, give Torneco that. Uh, give him the iron shield as well. I can't see anything without my glasses. Think I'm having a deja vu? Deja vu? Try to rely on you, randomly large man who I just met. Hey, we built the tunnel. That's gotta be something, right? Uh, let's see what weapons do you have available. Poison Moth Knight may paralyze. Strayus' Abacus. Oh, the Abacus is for Tornico. Oh, yeah, I saw that last chapter and was like, what the fuck is that? It's literally the best thing that comes out of school the entire legacy for that moment. <laughs> My god. Yeah, sure. Uh. I feel like I should hold on to that full plate armor. It just seems important. It's exclusive to the merchant class. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. This a fan translation? Nope. This is the official translation. It's going to carry the goods. Okay. Yep. Equip. I'm sure we can trust an arms dealer not to be taken advantage of political situations to drive a demand for his product. We're trying to stop the war. I think we're more of a sale selling to adventurers type. Okay. Uh, is this the way to Bali Morale? Or was Bali Morale earlier in this? Ah, I forgot. There's a big cave here. Dum, 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 da, 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 dum, dum, dum. Thankfully, Torneko's actually doing some damn damage now. There we go. I love Slubus. So Seems it's a neat bassoon. Yeah. Wait. Do I take this to go in? The dungeon was this. I have not been here. What's this do? Oh. A raft. Hey, thank you, Raylith. Love Toriyama's chubby old dudes, yeah. I like the big mustache. 
That... This guy that... The fact that Torneko got a whole series... Oh yeah, the animations are super nice. Super dang nice. I will say, the hardest thing about Torniko's playthrough is you don't get party members so far. <laughs> At least it's been the longest since uh, seeing any compared to uh, uh, the other characters. Got a leather hat. Toriyama's furry designs are top tier. I agree. Now just what's the devil up? Now just what the devil is up with this cape? Just making a right madman out of me. A madan out of me? A right a madan out of me? Okay. I can't make away with the treasure. The accents are going to be the death of me by the end of this. Um, also, one second. Uh... Okay, never mind, I'm good. The game of Spies the Character Arcs like the character chapter system, because I kind of really like it. I like the idea that every character is getting introduced and eventually they're all just going to combine. And then you get to like have all the characters you learned with kind of thing. I for distance. Amadon is apparently a real word, really. I for distance. Sato. Locates nearby settlements. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's Ireland, fool, loony, idiot. Okay. Well, if this is Ireland, then I'm going the right way, I think. You do ba do do. A steel bronze sword. I do need to be going to Ireland, so. Oh wait, was it Ireland or? It was Ireland, right? That's uh, where Ragnar's from. Oh, he's Scotland. Oh, he's Scottish. Ah. Uh... On Octopath, yeah, the stories are, like, mostly entirely separate. But you could still, like, walk in on those characters kind of thing. Whereas in this game, the stories are very deliberately kept apart from each other, but they all eventually merge. And that's the rest of the game. Hey, Joe. Got me all the Scottish hyenas. That sounds so cute. Sorry, I don't play Dragon Quest 4 in five days or something. I forget every nationality that's in this game. Scotland, Ireland, uh... Where else have I been? Russia! Thank you. Russia. Right, I've been to Russia. Right, right, right. Second second character pro tag is Russian, I keep forgetting. There's a lot of Russia. Ugh. My monk punchy lady. Sarevna Elena, she loved to punch. I want to get her back in the party. I'm doing great. I'm doing good so far, I'd say. <gasps> Yay. I'd love to hear you do their accents. I gave up eventually. <laughs> Oh, man. 760 gold coins. I think Scotland about broke me because somebody genuinely told me the location is somewhere and I needed somebody to translate because I did not know what the fuck that lady said. Der Tur. Yeah, the, the, Der Tur. The tower? Hello? Could make him the third. Ah. Uh, accents are a constant in the series, and I love it. It's honestly really charming. If not very hard to read, but it is charming, yes.
Reminds me of uh, Chrono Cross, how all the characters had uh, uh, different ways of speaking and different accents. Phantom weight. So they just made a giant flying... Uh... No, wait, no, that's... Yeah, that is the one that crushes you with its ass. Okay. Okay, Toriyama. Definitely, definitely not up to anything shady now, are you? Oh, wow, really? Holy Lance? Uh, can I use that? Is that something that... Uh... Can I use that? Oh, no. <coughs> it's not as good as what I have, really. Okay. Have you ever played any Tales games? Uh, I played a bit of Tales of the Abyss and not finished it, but I want to. I have reached. Bottom weight is a real word, though. What does it mean? Does it mean bottom weight? Bottom heavy? <laughs> this is the merchant, yes. Yeah, I need to I need to play Tales of. I really do. That's on the list. <laughs> Why was that? Why did... Why did that get Sorry, I'm just laughing at Automod's reasonings. This is always my favorite chapter. It's fun. It's fun. I'm very thoroughly enjoying it. Tornecos is really cool because you start with nothing and it kind of feels like uh, genuinely starting from zero and I like how you can actually like, go to work. I still have my packed lunch. There we go. A chicken of, of any... A chicken of any of several varieties or breeds characterized by very small size. Oh! Wow, really? You know, actually, yeah, we were talking about how this is the progenitor to the two uh, roguelike games, to mystery dungeon games. A lot of the mechanics you see here will be in roguelikes later. And in a way, that's just really fucking cool. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not Real Ice Game First. I've said a lot of the mechanics. There's a game, there's a series called Mystery Dungeon that started with Tornico. And that style of game is what would slowly develop more and more into that series. And more and more companies would take after Mystery Dungeon way more than they would Rogue. It's, it's like how... It's like how Sweet Home kind of started the survival horror, uh, I would say, like, survival horror system. Or, like, Alone in the Dark started it for 3D games, but you don't really ever think about things being taken from Alone in the Dark. You think of things being taken from Resident Evil, if you know what I mean. Just because it was the first doesn't mean it's not the mechanics that were taken from it. Fucking net hack. I had a friend who actually played that. I know they came before. That's not what I mean. The fuck is this? It is useful for something, I assume. Okay. I have the silver goddess statue. What is this? Hey, Sharky Char! Thank you for the five gift subs. Hey, birthday, Spacey. Hey, thank you. Damn kind of you. I appreciate it. Probably sells for a lot. Considering I'm a merchant, that should have been my first thought. Right, capitalism, ho, own a, own a small place, haggle. You can't... Yeah, Rogue are a niche genre, took way more mechanics from isolation from other games, did it too much from Mystery Dungeon at all. I feel like I see more games that are based on Mystery Dungeon, if I'm being honest. What the fuck was that? Report the num- Okay. No- <laughs> He sniffs the air! <laughs> okay. That's- that's really funny. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, it's it's how it is. If games existed before I was born, they don't exist. That's how uh that's how the collective conscious works. <laughs> hey, really quick, uh before I before I play more, I gotta go uh I gotta grab the uh the caffeine that I ordered. I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> I am listening to you, Denton, though. I I am, I am, I am. I would be more than willing to be educated. Just feels like ah! I hear mystery dungeon get pulled up more. My thank you, Windborn. My birthday was, uh, yesterday, but I got a massive migraine, so I decided to do it today instead. Man, yeah, BRB, if you don't mind me. Oh, I, I, I can't... Uh, uh, I'm trying to... Why is it whenever my ass leaves the chair? Every time... Hey, Fenton Ferox, thank you for the raid. Hey, good evening! <laughs> Ryu, thank you for the 28 month resub, I appreciate it. So, I'm... I need to go get something at the door, I'll be right back, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'll be right back. Thank you! Eat Loaf, I, I have been live for a while, but you know, I appreciate it. Thanks, Loaf. Oh wow, Spacey is live! Yeah! People legit have their friends watching Space and be like, you left right now, go go. Y'all don't really do that, right? <laughs> is, is that something you do? Uh, uh. Okay. I'm good. I have caffeine. Hello. No, oh, I can't stay long. Oh, take care, War Puppy. We would never. Uh huh. Uh huh, Range. Oh, man. Hey, again, thank you, Fenton. Damn kind of you. Uh, and again, sorry for rushing up. Thank you, Ryu. I appreciate the 28 month reset. Dino and FPS style. Oh, huh. okay. I'd be willing to look. Oh man, you know, I kind of feel like a merchant right now. I have a uh, friend sent me this really big fluffy, uh, it, it's kind of like a robe to like, it's a robe, but it goes like all the way down to the ankles. It's really nice. It's really fluffy and I feel posh. <laughs> I feel like, hey, oh, check out my wares. I sell arsenic and Gun. Also, this silver longsword. What are you buying? I feel fancy. Watch Mo's puppy before he fell asleep next to my PC. <laughs> That's sweet. How do I get out of here? Do I have the ability to quick travel out of here? I don't think I do, actually. The, the, the raccoon onesie? Listen. It is very cozy, though, yes. Hey, wasn't there a guy down here, or was he up on a higher level? Another one. Sure gave me a lot of steel broadswords. Zebra cake salad, I need your cakiest zebras. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a family establishment. Well, you do want to be an arms merchant. I do want to be an arms merchant. This is true. I want to sell a lot of broadswords. I'm going to start fucking collecting these. Oh, hey, what's up? A ton, a ton of water. I was after pouring them on my head just now. I nearly drowned, so I did. Sorry about that. But there's a silver lining like me. Now look at I. 
Okay, I'll just take this treasure myself. Empty. Motherfucker. Alright. What's down here? Only the most caked up zebra, sir. I thought I drowned him. He's fine. He's fine. I feel like my Tornado is really strong. The question is why people buy anything other than Star Wars when you just grind for a bit and find something twice as good? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Probably so it's a little bit easier to enter the dungeon than you can just sell whatever you find. This is the DS version. Okay, so I had three options. I had Dragon Warrior 4 on the NES, which is... There was the PS1 remake, which is entirely in Japanese. And then there was the DS remake, which unfortunately is two screens. So uh, my best bet was the DS remake, to be honest. There is a translation going on for the PS1 game, but it's not done, and I figured y'all would at least like to read what's going on without me sitting here trying to translate everything. Yeah. Bit confused because the resolution. Ah! I'm behind 500 upscalers. No, really, I found some really nice mods for this game. Alright. Eh. When I was originally going to stream this, oh my god, it was so blurry. So blurry. Looks great like this. Thank you, I was so worried about streaming this game. So worried. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess if that's done, I'll just head up. Can I leave this way? Oh yeah, I can! Nice. I got your statue. I don't know who wants the statue. I just picked it up. There was that one cave I didn't go into. What are you doing here? Oh, this is a tunnel. I started excavating this tunnel so as I could get to a port time I heard of in the east. It was me dreaming to travel the world. You see it? To have a ship of me name and go off and search a treasure. But I'd ran out of gold, so I did. To surprise you, journey digging a tunnel. If I could only raise another 60,000 coins, I could restart the work. Well, lad, will you help an old man? Well, you'll be needing a shop first, so as you can earn the gold we need for this little venture. Okay. <laughs> it's a relief since I gotta do this for 6 and 9, too. Yeah, you're right. Do you gotta do the DS remakes for those, don't I? The PS2 version of 5 is excellent, but the fan translation is notably different, really. Hmm. Yeah, I just realized the top screen shows me how much my stuff is worth. That's actually really cool. Hold on to it for now, if I'm going to get my own shop. Hey, good evening! Uh, so the kingdom is probably somewhere this way. Perfect lab for the DS, dude. Hey, thanks! This kingdom of Zamoska castle outside, people are not permitted. Are you serious? I don't think this is the kingdom I need to go to, but, um... Uh, right. <clears throat> I need to go to Bre Bally Moran? <laughs> Let me do the Axel. Mm, okay. They can totally make a game entirely out of this concept. <laughs> you mean, like, Reseteer? I fucking love Reseteer. Uh, you know, actually I could probably stay the night here and get my health back. Must be exhausted, weary traveler. Thanky. Ugh. 
Eh. Is Rolfer still going? Okay, so. Rolfar has been kind of like on an indefinite hiatus for a while. The reason behind this is there has been a good amount of IRL happening surrounding our uh, our DM. Um, nothing, nothing like bad on his part, just kind of living situations and all that kind of jazz. And we do want to get back to it at some point, but until then we are on an indefinite hiatus. We do want to. It's just... Until it is in our foreseeable future, we don't want to comment on it. Uh, to my knowledge. I'm actually not the one behind the social media, so... <laughs> but, um, regardless, uh... Yeah, just kind of waiting for things to kind of clear out, or clear over. You started Reseteer twice and loved it, but never got super into it. Uh, it's really good. The thing about Reseteer is, when you're playing it, it almost feels like it's a little pointless. But the more you talk to characters and, you know, you get to know them, the more the story develops, and it's really cool how it works. But for a good long time, they kind of just want you to be cozy and just run your own shop. Level up your party members as you hire them. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, I feel like I'm being very silly. Where is... How did I get here? There's another kingdom, right? I'm not crazy, am I? More screens, more yeans. Oh, yes. You can grind seeds of strength from the moles. I noticed that, yeah. Oh, there's the bridge. Okay. What if you are crazy? I hope not. Uh, Jesus on Tornico. Why not? It's all he does is melee. It's raise his strength. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, Prince Regan, Prince Regan, the prince has vanished, so he has. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go to the end. I love that they kept this day-night cycle from the third game. Loaf the merchant. Loaf was a merchant. That is true. He wound up building a whole town. <laughs> I think the day-night cycle continues forever. That's nice. Sure an Archeotexa... Sure an Archeotexa queer fellow, so he is. The, Ar the bridge to Endor is all fixed up now. We can invade the place at last. Hey, uh, let's not invade. Are you, are you the right guy I'm supposed to give this to? I hope so. If not, I might accidentally start a genocide, so here you go. Red! Hey! Thank you for the five gift subs! Whoopy birthday! And a whoop 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 to you too, I appreciate it. Thank you, Redline. Thank you, oh, oh, explosive bird. Does seven have day and night? Actually, I remember. No, eight and eleven does. Yeah? It seems my daughter, Princess Veronica, and your son, Prince Reagan, are in love. But I would not recommend excessive haste in the matter which proposed that they marry sincerely King Norman of Endor. Oh. Well, thank you, Denton. So that's the crank, is it? Well, if Regan marries Veronica, he'll be the next King of Endor in any case. I'll lay claim to Endor without having to lay a finger. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, your service to the... Oh god, sometimes the text really does just fly at the speed of light. Hello? His son's gonna be the next King of Endor, so he is, uh, tis grand altogether. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, politics, I guess. How goes the quest of dragons? It goes well. What the fuck am I supposed to do now that I've... Now that I've done this? So, Torneco single-handedly prevented an entire continent from getting genocided. That's nice. Have you heard? This fellow locked up from Lakanaba only went and broke out of jail, so he did. Mind you, he's not about a pretty crook, so I doubt they'll bother with him much. Okay. I guess let the king know you did the thing? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. It's a political love triangle. Yeah. Too bad that didn't work out for Liu Bei. Liu Bei, sorry. Uh, bridge is here for everyone's benefit. Please take care not to destroy it. Uh, 
Yep, this is Endor. Okay. Oh, wait. Sarevna Elena declared victorious. Cool. Oh, damn. Nice, Deoxo. Nice. Ah, Mr. Saloon, welcome back. I've already received a reply from Bally Moral. It's good news, and largely thanks to you, as prompts, I hereby grant you permission to open a shop in Endor. Cool. For our love to be recognized at last, I can I can marry my dear Regan. Your name's Tornico, isn't it? Thank you, Tornico, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. No, different Regan. The Regan from Inside Job. It's my shop? Probably not. It's my shop. We've already had money in the family to only encourage my husband to buy ever more peculiar things for his collection, but we got more than he can even spend. Okay. Is that my shop? The door's locked. talk to about this. Who do I talk to to open up a store? You could hire me as your personal bodyguard if you're interested. I'd do five days for 400 gold coins. I don't need a bodyguard. I got these hands. Oh, is this mine? Big slappers, yes. Yep, yep. Hey, old man. Sorry, is the shop downstairs closed, you say? Yeah, well, I'm not getting any younger. It's an ideal world. I'd sell up and use the money to retire somewhere nice. I bet then I'll sell to you for 35,000 gold coins. What do you say? Yeah, but I don't have the uh, right. Okay, I need a way to get 35,000 gold coins. Bah. I have the, uh... Oh, wait! The guy that buys peculiar things. Wait, no. I don't need to grind. Wait. Wait. The lady said her husband buys peculiar things. Hey. The young lady in the house spends all her time staring at the sky. Just don't think she finds anything. Okay, got it. What does the merchant guy do in combat? Hits things? With his hands. Noble Gilgamesh, eh? Thank you for the three-month resub. Can it really be the Silver Goddess statue? I'll pay 20, no, 25,000 gold for it. I will not sell it to you. Okay, yeah, I'll sell it to you. Sorry, I just want to see if I could haggle. Okay, yeah, you can have it. Neat. I know it's a bit late, but still counts. Hey, thank you, Koi Boy. I, thank you, Chris. I appreciate the 58 month piece. Thank you, thank you. You said that something bad is happening. Oh, thanks, lady. I thank you very much. Hope you've been doing well, by the way. Space engaging in capitals, one of the other hyenas say, I will sell them zebra cakes at a cheap cost. Sell the iron armor, the steel broadswords, the leather hats, or I could grind. Not so many of those. Oh wait, I have that holy lance, which is really not that much money, huh? Okay, take the iron lance, yes. Full plate armor, steel broadsword, holy lance. Okay. But I feel like I want to keep the full plate armor. It just seems important. Okay. So more steel broads for some this iron armor. Found a grind for 10,000 coins. Enemies drop really expensive items for Tornico, though. How about that lockbox? The lockbox prevents me from dropping money during combat. If I die, I lose nothing. 
which is amazing, by the way. Oh my god. After three games of losing half my shit every time I die? Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like I might still need some more money. And I really don't want to sell that armor, so let's go back to that dungeon and then just, like, slap some things in the head. <laughs> yeah, the lockbox is, like, the best thing we have. That is a really good item. Yeah, Torneko seems like he has really high drop rates when he finishes enemies, so... Hey! Ugh. He gets a lot of money for fights, and we get a lot of items on drop. I can't complain. <clears throat> just don't die. Yeah, just don't die. I really don't like the name Splatty Punk. And just like that, I got a steel broadsword. Fuck it, let's try and get money. Boom. But the enemy are too stunned to move. But this no herb. Yeah, okay. Kind of bummed with the white head. Can't believe space just killed a shiny Pokemon. Listen, I'm here for blood, not for bragging rights. He is my main stylist, that is true. Just getting a lot of money. It's a bit of grinding in uh, Dragon Quest 4, but it doesn't feel nearly as bad as the previous games. Like, at all. Just woke up from a four hour nap. Hey, welcome back to the world of living. Wayfarer's clothes. <clears throat> It was supposed to be a two-hour nap. Oh, shit. Hey, good morning, sunshine. Probably still sell the steel broadsword I have, but I also don't want to be broke. I do think it's very funny. I don't really have any attack options besides beat them with a stick. But in Torneco's chapter, that seems to be all you really need to do. There was a guy that I could hire. I don't know if that's really worth it. Might be, but... I don't know, I feel like I'm doing just fine. If I'm being honest. Early Yeen? Yes! Very early hyena. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Now to never boot up again. <laughs> God. Another medicinal herb. Are you getting better drops running around outside or in the dungeon? I'm really not sure, actually. Oh, man. Leather armor. I could go deeper down. That probably would give me better options, too. We dragon, we questing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These hand, the bodyguard should be paying the merchant, really, though. Now, I wonder, when I get to the chapter where everybody joins up, I wonder if everyone's going to be at the level I left them at. If so, Ragnar and, uh... Elena are going to be nightmares. I like your Minecraft battle backgrounds. Thank you, they're really nice. I got an iron armor. Uh, okay. I'm actually very close to, uh, hitting my goal. Hire the old man to run the shop while you sell your hands as a mercenary. 
We want to be fat and lazy, though. That's our goal. We want to we wanna open up a store, and that's it. It'd be really funny if I don't get Torneco back. It'd be really funny if this whole chapter is literally just to start a store, and I just never get him back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go be in Mystery Dungeon. Okay, bye. Oh, man. I also want to be fat and lazy, but I don't care about the store part. I don't think I'd- I don't think I'd mind running my own store. I think it could be fun. But at the same time, like... It's a lot of work, and especially if it's like a store and you're not like part of a chain or something, because then you gotta deal with like everything else and the, uh, You see so many stores like fail. Hey, thank you for the 100 bits, Dr. Spooky. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Ah! Bum, 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 bum. It could be fun to like have like a bookstore or something. It could be nice. Do, 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 do. Ah. The past hour I've been trying to heat up my lunch in the microwave, but the microwave keeps refusing to heat up my food. Are you paying your microwave enough? Adventuring in this economy. Man. On one hand, it'd be really cool to be an adventurer, but then once the big bad is done, what do you do, right? Unless you live in a world that just procedurally has monsters or something. I got another steel broadsword. Also, I think... I have enough now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right. Did I just take poison damage from stepping on that one tile? Fuck off. The plan to end the stream at usual time? I might go a little bit past that, honestly. Oh man, it happened last time too, did it? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oh wait, is this the town that has... Yep, I can buy that. Okay. Let's do some dealings, old man. <gasps> Labby, Mr. Butterdog. <laughs> I'll have you know I've been watching BoJack Horseman with a friend in the meantime. I think about you constantly. Nothing, ever, nothing bad ever happens on the Labrador Peninsula. Did I hear you correctly? You'll buy it, you say? Very well then, the shop is yours. Don't let the place down, make a success of it, lad. Who's that dog, Mr. Peanut Butter? Bojack's so good, it's really good. Don't spoil anything, don't say anything about it. And so at last, Torneco fulfills his dream of owning his own shop, and sends for his family to move down to Endor. You're a fine article. So ya, Torneco Taloon, our very own shop. Oh, tis a dream come true, so it is. I'll work me socks off, so I will clean off, I tell ye. Together we'll turn this place into the grandest weapon shop in all the land. I'm that proud I could go and tell it to the king. Speaking of which, maybe you, you felt, let that feller know you got yourself a shop. Okay, thank you. I love you, Torneco. <laughs> My family's moved in. Does she sell things? Have you brought new items we can sell? Really? Okay, not yet. Yeah, I want to see what we're all selling currently. We're out of stock. Oh, do you really have to give her stuff to sell? <laughs> I mean, that's just really, really funny. i just surprised. I need to spear for a month of though goodbye to fucking me move down to Edward. We told her we were going adventuring. It's fine. It's fine. I think. Whenever I see a Golden Retriever, I think of both Labby and my friend who's also a Golden Retriever. Whenever I see a Labrador or a Golden Retriever, yeah, I usually think of Labby. Ah, uh, Mr. Taloon, I hear you've already set up your shop here. Congratulations, you'll permit me to place an order with you straight away, I hope. I wish to equip some of the castle troops. You can make a delivery to my commander downstairs. I require six steel broadswords and six suits of iron armor. Okay. You want me to go farm all that, don't you? You want me to go farm all that? And, yeah, okay. Ooh! Okay, I see. I get it. Want six of each, huh? 
You'll be paid once you deliver all the armor and weapons. The faster you get here, the sooner you get your gold. Okay, I'm not going to give them to you yet, so I can count how many that I have while I'm out. Damn, really? You want... Oh, shit. Okay. Want six of each? Oh, fuck. Uh, alright, well... Got two steel broadswords and one, uh, iron armor. Good thing you didn't sell those broadswords. <laughs> yeah, good thing, huh? Now we play rest of tier. Oh, yeah. All right, let me sell some things. Let's not sell the iron armor. Sell anything else. Yeah, sure, here. Okay. Back to the grind to go. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Fo, thank you for the hundred bits. Birthday, hey, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going back on the grind. I need to rest and then I'll just eat herbs. Not like I have any mana to worry about. Brunecco's gonna be the strongest simply because his supply demands it. Just send him out to war. Hey, breaded! The Uwu variety. Hey, thank you very much for following. Welcome to the Null Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay. God damn, he's level 10? Okay. Sure, Tornico. I guess the best place to farm is here, because that's where I was finding all the steel broadswords, so here we go for a bit. Really good thing I didn't sell all those broadswords I found. Those are worms and them biting your dick. They're not biting me on the dick this time, I mean, it's just standard hits. Yeah, I'm an arms dealer, these arms. <laughs> oh, hey, look, iron armor. Maybe this won't take that long. That's two iron armor, two steel broadswords. I suppose I get more out of these, can I? Yeah, okay. Why do these worms have whole suits of armor anyways? How do I manage that? Um, steel broadsword, that's three? Yeah, actually, maybe this might not take that long. The penis pinchers. Uh, the cock clutchers. Please! The town of little blacksmiths. Uh, they wormed their way in. Go to your room. Ugh. The genitalia grippers, please! The junk jugglers, y'all are... <laughs> too fucking much! Hey, thank you, Floyd Rose. The schlong stealers. The foulest flock! The dick dunkers! Y'all need to fucking stop. Y'all gonna stop! Jeffrey Bezos is gonna shut the stream down. The sausage snappers! That's the worst fucking thing I've read. The cock coppers, the package punchers. You shouldn't have this many names. You really shouldn't have this many names. Hey, good night, Lazar. <laughs> I'm not gonna say Dragon Quest State is something called the Banana Bashers, but uh, the Meat Marauders, the Wing Whackers. <laughs> there are 26 letters in the alphabet. That doesn't mean there needs to be that many different terms of alliteration for a worm biting you in the dick. The Willy Whipper. <laughs> Ah, 
mini whoppers that you all need to stop. <laughs> I'll press you out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my question is, why was everyone so ready with all of these? Yeah, that's the real question of this, actually. How do y'all have these on standby? The <laughs> shaft shavers. That is fucking atrocious. The ding dong dippers. The penis punishers. The zipper zappers. Blankers. I'm gonna die. Wait, I'm gonna die. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. I'm. I'm. Okay. I'm like actually dying in game. Why am I taking so much damage now all of a sudden? Oh my god. Why am I taking so much damage? What'd I do? Oh my god. Ugh. Testicular torsioners, the wiener whoppers. The rough <laughs> Ugh. I almost died, I'll have you know. Almost ruined the grind and not lost any money on death. Did the enemies level up after the store opened? No, I don't think they did. Manhood manglers. Almost death by wing jokes, you know? Did you sell your armor? No. Look, now I'm only taking one damage. The fuck was that about? I was taking like ten. The PP pilfers. Why are you kind of with these again? Y'all... We need a collective therapist. The duck build monsters use sap on you. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, I didn't realize I got hit with sap. Yeah, they sat me while I was distracted. That makes sense. Ugh. We're watching the boss is going to get to this one. We realize it's the fucking... Bod with the dick jokes. And I am not putting that in the description. A therapist couldn't help us, Space. <laughs> I need one. Oh man, three steel bra- Oh, they do start stacking in the- Okay, cool. Well, let me, uh, take the one I have and then transfer it over to the bag so I can keep a better look on it. Including the one that I found. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, Tornico. Transfer that. There we go. Cool. Four swords, two armor. Alright. Last therapist gave up. We learned it from watching you. You really fucking didn't. Dum bum bum bum. Dum bum bum ba dum bum bum bum. Boop boop boop. Oh, man. I'm really just praying for drop ray right now, aren't I? Iron lands. Okay. We can sell that, but not much else to do with that. Oh, man. Oh man, I'm having a fantastic day myself, personally. It's going well. I'd like to thank. Got another steel broadsword, that's five. So I have six, I am good to go for that. Playing a merchant Ragnarok online look for 1% drops to pawn off to the newbies. Were there a merchant class in Ragnarok? Oh, did you see Mabinoki's going over to Unreal Engine 5? I may have to pick that back up. I actually do like playing Merchant in that. I like playing Merchant Bard. Is usually what I focus on. Play a lot of music, make a lot of money. Use the money to write more music, then sell the music. Did I see the preview? Yes, I did. Actually, just last night. The bird is back to sell on your face. Ah. Uh. Merchant was how you sold it, because there's no auction house. Huh. It does look really good. I'm kind of, like, flabbergasted. 
I have never seen Mabinogi look that pretty. I mean, I thought it was pretty back then, but you know, I was like... 2000 fucking 3? The original US name for Torneco and Dragon Warrior 4 was Taloon. Uh, that's his full name. Oh wait, I see what you mean. Like, that's what his name was in the original game. Was, uh... Taloon. Okay, yeah, that, that's really interesting, actually. That's really interesting. No, not the medicinal herb. I want to transfer the... There we go. Okay. I need one more broadsword and three more armor. Then I'm good to go. How much HP do I have? Enough. Ragnar McRyan, he was just Ryan in Japanese, Ragnar in English. That's actually really creative. Ugh. That's actually really, really creative. KMS just destroyed Maple. KMS? What's that? Wait, Maple Story's dead? That's not what you just said, right? Because his Japanese name, and he has translation named him Taloon. Yeah! That's honestly really, really damn cool. I like that idea. Also, Paul and Bloom. Sorry if I'm late on saying it, but hey, thank you very much for following. Welcome to the Null Patrol. They low key, uh, kind of just killed it with this new update. Oh? Potentially, we don't know yet. No, it's not. <laughs> but halfway, Bot and Kaido says you're a master. Oh, nice. Never played it. Oh, speaking of bad updates, did you see what uh, Overwatch 2 is doing? How they're giving every single character a uh, healing passive. <laughs> Which sounds like, uh... Like a really obnoxious idea, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. Ah. New update will limit the amount of daily mace on since we killed the reboot server. Huh. Paladin does the same thing? Yeah, but it's not Paladin. Also, Paladin's is good. Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. I thought it was good. I liked it. I liked playing as Ying. Wait, was that her name? The, uh, the girl that had the mirrors? I always forget her name. I didn't play Paladin's as long as I'd have liked. This could be very toned down healing passives compared to healer passives. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. And you have to not take damage in like 20 seconds for it to have start. Isn't that the whole point of like the healing packs on the map, though? Isn't that Ying or something? I thought that was her name. Thank you, Stephanaris. Thank you. Maybe it's the main server, so more likely to kill the global servers. Really? Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Chain sickle. Yeah, I played Paladins when it first came out. I really like the Mirror Lady. And uh I adored um <laughs> the uh the dragon that had the rocket launcher. He was just really fun and I liked flying around. And I liked that his special attack was that she just flew at you and punched the shit out of you. Oh, man. Like, that was just really fun. Just fly towards them and just knock their lights out. Overwatch 2 lately? Overwatch 2 was a mistake to begin with. I still can't believe they cut down on the party size. And all the professional teams basically had to get rid of somebody. Which is fucked up. Still can't believe they did that. Oh man. Hey, thank you, Quantum, and hello? This Dragon Quest seems so wildly different from the first three. Am I crazy or not? No, it is very different. You start off playing different chapters of different characters. 
and you play their stories before they connect to each other. So yeah, very, very different. Uh, I would personally say so. Two more iron armor, and I'm good to go. Okay. Yeah, I played Overwatch when it came out, but then I just, like, really hated, like, every decision they made. Long story short, Nexon got slammed by the Korean FTC with a $10 million fine due to not properly labeling the rates on their cubing. The statue pay real money for. Wow. Octopath style? Yeah, basically, but on the NES. Oh, man. They reduced the team size, they didn't know how to balance the team size. I just, I can't imagine, I've never seen a game like... Uh, like a like a game franchise do that for a multiplayer series. I, I, I really just cannot fathom that. You take a team-based game where you have like a party size, well, what was Overwatch originally? Six? And you cut it down and you already instilled like this huge pro scene, so everyone has to literally pick somebody and get rid of them. That's fucked up, right? Like, I've never seen any, any FPS franchise do that. I don't even play FPS games! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Eludia. How's that low, Eludia? Hope you've been doing well. Man! And they lied about the PvE. Oh my god, yeah, that too. I actually really wanted to play that too. Then it made sure you had to buy them all individually too, and I just completely stopped giving a shit. When they said there was like gonna be actual honest to god like story PvE content, I was like, okay, yeah, that might be interesting, but they just completely lied about all that. Man. <laughs> Activision relied heavily on what they relied on COD, having your friends more between games with you playing the game playing with friends. Then they remove one player from the player amount, like what the fuck? Yeah, I <laughs> Man. Like, that's totally different from, like, you know, single-player games. Like, single-player games, like, yeah, of course you can change the party size, but, like... Oh, my God. That's like if Fantasy Star one day just said, fuck it, you can only have three people, not four. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, we can't have you play with us. Like, you don't, you don't do that with multiplayer games that have been, like, situated and, like, laid down in stone. <laughs> Ah, uh, Epsilon! Hey, thank you for following! Welcome to the Null Patrol, I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, man. And hey! I've been alright, or then a stubborn cop won't go, but I've been really hooked on creature collector games. Yes, Pal World! I can't wait to play Pal World. Genuinely, Pal World looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Really fun. That screws over a lot of champions mechanically weird take. I like Battleborn. You know, I, I wish I could agree with you. I wish I could agree with you that I like Battleborn. I actually bought it and played it day one. And I played a good amount through it, but... Wow, you could not tell what the fuck was going on half the time when you were playing against other players. Like, you could not fucking tell what was going on. Space, what level are you going for so far? I'm not. I'm trying to get six iron armors and six steel broadswords to give to a king. I'm not leveling up, I'm just trying to get these items. And I sold them because I didn't realize I needed to keep them. Because I'm a genius. Oh, the concept of Battleborn was cool. I did like it. It just... Oh man, it's kind of a mess. Did you know Power World's gonna have support for a 32-player dedicated server? Oh wow, really? Not PvP, PvE, Battleborn. I, yeah, fair. It's just, it's kind of like the whole package, you know? And I also wanted to play the, like, the MOBA aspect against other players. That was, like, one of my big drives. I did still play the story and enjoyed it, sort of. Um, so when I got to the actual multiplayer, it's like there's no tells of knowing how somebody's doing something. Like, if we take, uh... As much as I'm not a fan of Overwatch anymore at all, let's talk about, like, launch Overwatch and then take Battleborn. When you look at Overwatch, when somebody does something, you can very much tell someone's doing it. Like, they always, you know, they yell out their ultimate. There's always a flashy effect. You can tell somebody's going to do something, you know? If you hear Hanjo, uh, Hanjo, if you hear Hanzo yell out his ult, you know they get the fuck out of the way of wherever that arrow just went. 
if you heal if you hear mercy yell out you know somebody's about to get back up yeah heroes never die yeah when you hear that it's time to panic but you also know what to do if you hear divas shout out you know the explosive is coming your way in battleborn it, it never felt that way <laughs> It felt like, uh, you know the girl, if anybody actually remember Battleborn, there was like a girl who had like a stand almost. She could summon behind her. Uh, I think out of like a possessed arm or something. You could not tell what the fuck she was doing half the time. It felt like there wasn't like good clarity. And you would just get decimated by something you didn't see coming. Overwatch 1 died for Overwatch 2, only for Overwatch 2 to be turned out to be third times worse than Overwatch 2. Yeah. Also, I have everything I need. Uh, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Let's break it down. Yeah, Launch Overwatch was actually a good game, I would say. I would I would die on that hill. Uh, and that's why games like Battleborn... Also, Battleborn was nothing like Overwatch gameplay-wise, and they totally should not have tried to compete against Overwatch. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I know what you meant, Tyson. That was a bad idea. I don't know what you were thinking. Holy shit. Those games are not similar, <laughs> but... Oh boy. Alright. Yep, six steel broadsword, six suits of iron armor. Here's your pay as promised. And it's the exact amount I need to make the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't want to talk about Warcraft or Forge. That just makes me sad. <laughs> oh, God. Warcraft or Forged. Pay 2,500 gold if you can find me a katana. I'm fairly certain a katana is worth more than 2,500 gold. Alright. Hey, got you 60,000. I started excavating this tunnel so I get to a poor town I've heard of in the east. Has my dream to travel the world? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I like the idea that farming those weapons and armors was totally optional and I could have just gotten the money to give to this guy. It feels like there's a lot of way of solving solutions in Tornico's chapter, and I just kind of went for the obvious ones. I can see you're a rich fellow of 60,000 gold coins in your pocket. It's a very much lad. With this money, you can employ the lads again and start excavating right away. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> okay. Alright. I could probably try giving my wife things. Hey, must be shattered after work. I expect you'll be needing a good rest. Time for bed, love. Good night. I say as she lifts up a pillow and just knocks me out while I'm standing there. Holy shit. More than love, tis a new dawn already, so it is. I've made you packed lunch like always. Oh, she still does that. Oh, she still does that. I'll get things here in the shop. You have to find us some more things to sell. If you bring what you find the other side of the counter, I'll put on sale for the other stock. You know, I never did talk to that king. Oh, man. Hey, thank you for the bed. Appreciate it, I'm sorry. Done working. God. Good God. The shop half this chapter involves giving items to your wife. She sells them a gigantic markup for some reason. Turns into a silly gameplay loop of spending all your gold, handing everything to her, going to bed, and collecting money. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Mr. Tulin, you've done a fine job of supplying my men with armor and weapons. Being an arms merchant, I expect your pride to the reason we're considering the Zenithian Sword. Instead of being an almighty blade that can carve through solid rock, if such a sword really were to exist, it'd be sought after weapon indeed. Okay. I'm sure. I can I believe for our love to be recognized, I can marry my dear- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I can try seeing if the tunnel get, got finished. Like that one area. 4,000 gold's my final offer. No deal. 
Dragon Quest is owned by Square? Yeah. I've been able to reopen the excavation works. I'm sure to let you on know when it's all done here. It's need a little while longer. Once this tunnel's boxed off, you'll be able to travel east whenever you like. The whole world will be at your fingertips, so it will. Okay. Well, now I'll give things to my wife, then. I'm not sure what to do now. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for the dough bits. Oh, it's grand to get to see it. So when I go to this brutal, you work it so far. No, 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 don't put me to sleep. Oh, did you hear about the casino? This just... Tis just after open up again, and so I've heard. Do you have heard a bit of gas in the place sometimes? So it would. I don't know what that means. Did you hear about the casino? Yeah. Casino. You greedy game? I'm making a profit! What casino? On the map? Over here? No? Uh, hmm. This door is locked. Outside. Oh, is the casino in the fucking building that has the. Yeah, head to the bar. The... They have a casino in the bar? Is it one of those damn downstairs things like the. Yeah. Welcome to the casino. See, it only accepts tokens as payment. You can buy them from the girl at the counter over there. They have slot machines! Welcome to the poker table. Oh, good. Uh, it, it just feels like, <laughs> like that, like that's a little bit out of the time period somehow. Oh my god, this place is in a completely different dimension. <laughs> oh my god. Gambling with modern tech, like what the fuck? <laughs> Oh man, there's a man inside the machine spinning it. Like fucking Flintstones? I have a message to pass on to you. I was asking when I tell you that the tunnels after being finished, I haven't the foggiest idea what it's all about, but that was the message, so it was. But don't tell me you're off on your travels again now that we finally own the shop we've already dreamed of, are you now? Yeah. I might have known. Well, I won't say none more that you made up your mind and then that's that. Always chasing a dream, aren't you, Torneco Taloon? Aye, tis that what makes you the fine fiend that ya. And tis that what makes me love you, so it is. Good luck and be careful now. I'll take care of things around here while you're away. I love my adventuring husband. Ah, Torneco Taloon, you always were an adventurer. I kind of love this character. Hey. Ah, Torneco, tis thanks to you that my tunnel that my pride and joy is finally complete. Now I want you to let out the rest of me dream, travel the world, and search a treasure like I always wanted to. Yeah, it's furnished. Wow, damn. We're traveling to the city of Endor. It's got people walking through it. People say that Endor is a pub at a casino, so I'll be able to find work there. News travels fucking fast. Made different people pass through this tunnel with as many different dreams between them. Be careful on your way, Mr. Taloon. And so, Torneco sets off on an adventure to the east in search of the legendary weapon. And in search of fulfillment of his dream. To become the greatest arms merchant in the whole world. This guy's... <laughs> this guy's fucking hilarious. I think I love him. Oh, that's the end of his chapter! Okay. Alright. That's a very concerning dream. Just a bit. Oh, man. Would you like to save the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. He wants to sell epic weapons to protagonists. He does. Mina and Maya. This is the tale of two beautiful sisters on a mission to avenge their father's death. 
The eldest is a dancer named Maya, and her younger sister Mina is a fortune teller. Their adventure begins in the entertainment capital of Libeccio, Laissez Faire. I love how... <laughs> I don't know, theirs seems a bit more hardcore than the previous three, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, Magic, thank you for the 37-month resum. Thank you, thank you. I think I hey, thank you. Did I say the name of that wrong? Primrose? Oh my god, yeah, it is like Primrose. Hi, Amaya. Well, how'd it go? Did you get a result? Array, it was awful, awful. Not one of the customers looked even a bit rich. Array. No, you're not understanding me. I'm talking about Balzac, innit? Is that despicable criminal there tonight? In it? Are we British? Oh, sorry, sis. No, Balzac wasn't there. Oh. Do not be disheartened, my petite ami. You will find it. Or are they French? Are they French? Considering the location, are they French? Here is your money for Zewer. They're French. Okay. <laughs> They're French. Yeah, I. Listen, I was thinking his name sounded like Ballsack. I didn't want to say it. I was open, you would say. I was. I was. I long for a word of the opponent. <laughs> I was hoping you would stay. The crowd go wild for you, but I cannot stand in the way of your mission of vengeance. Rest here tonight and leave in the morning. Take care, may fail. Adieu. It is indeed pronounced like ball sack. Are you really supposed to say it that way? Is, is it really pronounced like ball sack? Like, is that the French pronunciation of his name? Wakey wakey, sis, it's time we were going. Sound redeems ripped from some of your. <laughs> oh no. Oh, are these just my. Oh, cool. Oof, my back is aching. I forgot I was dancing too hard yesterday night. Cool. What do they do? Fortune teller and dancer. What do they do? What do they do? Healer. Uh, Maya hasn't learned any non-battle spells, can she? Yes, she can learn magic, at least. Frizz. Okay, so I got a white mage and a black mage. Oh, right. That, that is literally how you keep the Z, but yeah, so it's Balzac. You get a firm hold of Balzac. Balzac can be quite slippery. What age is this raid in? <gasps> Before there were age ratings, I think. <gasps> also, you can have your face shoved in a woman's tits in every game. What, you're going after the man who killed your father? Well, it's quite a mish for you and your sister, but don't give up. I hope you catch the fiend. Found medicinal herb. They're liking the spell names. It's taken a moment. Benvenue to the Theater de la Sefer. If you're looking for Manager Artois, he's down below. Okay. Okay. Brother's name is Harry. Oh my god. Oh, they're aggressively- I just walked in a circle. Bien! You are really leaving us now, I see. I do not know where you will be going, but you must visit your own town of Abot du Monde from time to time. It will make your father very happy if you visit his grave. Adieu et bon chance. Okay. T for the DS version? Probably. Seed of Strength. Who the fuck do I give that to if they're both mages? Silk Robe? Uh, they both have silk robe. Dancer costume. Uh, yeah, it is better. Okay. Plus, the dancing costume has no no effect. Hello? Hello? Buongiorno. Monday's world. Yeah. Yeah. What do I do? Uh, hmm. Uh, 
but you probably use the map and... Okay. Do you have nothing I have the money for? Any weapons? We crush Balzac? Makes sense. Time to do what we do every Dragon Quest game. Go outside and aimlessly grind until something happens. You know, you're really not wrong. Oh, Maya. Oh, Maya can use things. I think I really want those bows, though. Maya, your attack kind of sucks. Uh, oh, wow. I just sell these. Oh, yeah. To sell... Why is that 300? I don't want to sell it. Um... Okay. I'm just getting a little bit of gold and I can buy uh, Maya a decent weapon. <laughs> New music. Very French. Different battle music entirely? Okay. Right. Kind of take a lot of damage, though. Really gotta utilize the fact that they're both mages. Dance them to death. Yeah, we really need a weapon for Maya. Oh my god. Heal thine self. That works. Okay. Do I just save up for the bow? I could just have... God, we don't have much mana either. Alright, I'll deal with it. They're both mages? Yeah, uh... Mina is a healer, Maya is a, uh, mage. Mina does do significantly more damage, though, as the healer. Melee wise, anyways. We must have revenge for our father's death, but where can we find that rotten, rotten ball sack? Alright, until we found ball sack, our journey cannot end. Okay. Ah. Lyrics in the series tend to be pretty punchy, so I've noticed. Alright, Maya's level went up. Maya also levels up faster. Okay, so, real talk, I think I'll have you equip this. And then we'll just sell the other silk rope, because that's really not much of a damage increase, defense increase. Fuck it. Okay. Because Mina seems to be our attacker anyways. Then we'll buy, uh... We'll buy Maya the bow. Should probably rest it in first, but I want to see how much money I get from this. Okay. So, robe. I have... I don't know if that's enough for the bow. How much is the bow? Oh, take care, Colin. Have a good snooze. Bow is 350. Oh god, I kind of want it. Don't buy the dagger. Save it for the bow. Alright, let's rest and then work on that. Oh man. I do like the idea of playing as a pair of twins for this. Especially considering last chapter I didn't get party members and my only way of attacking was just bashing them to death. Yeah, this is already... Like, Tornecho's chapter was fun, but this is a bit more interesting at the start. When I saw the dancing costume instead, I, it seems unique. It, it, I'm worried about selling that. It seems really unique. Okay, well... Two gold for me, I guess. If I'm lucky, maybe they'll drop something. 
So Neko had three different mercenaries you could hire, but that costs money. Yeah, I found one of them. But I uh, decided not to. We do have a fortune teller, but I don't think she has that as an actual ability. I really like the new music. It's such a nice change of pace. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it seemed like you really didn't need them. Yeah, I don't think Torneko did. Torneko's just kind of really strong. Oh. Just blaze it. There you go. I think the mercenaries were useful if you get to Endor rather early in level. But once you get the defense, they fall off fast. Yeah. Shit, everything does tons of damage to them. Sheesh, they are not tanky. And his attributes improve. These two are not tanky. Alright, there's a new town right there, but I do want to pick up that... Wait, no, that's not a new town. I'm going crazy. I want that bone. The Neko Saloon is one of those characters that should not be as strong as he is. That's really funny. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, thank you, Astaroth. Happy 2024. Yeah, I couldn't really decide what to actually do for a birthday stream, so I just decided, eh, fuck it, I'll just do Dragon Quest, because that's what I'm enjoying the most lately. Why not, right? Ugh. Big tongue. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a crit. Do you have any mana for another shot? Yeah, I got one more spell in me. There we go. Hey, all of us, <laughs> thank you for following. <laughs> Welcome to the Null Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay. Back in a minute. Hey, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That goes built like a tree, apparently. In the NES version, Mina's max HP growth was so damn bad she was almost unusable in combat until the later half of the game. Thankfully, the remakes fixed her. Really? Okay, I think I have enough to rest at an end. Then I can get into another fist fight, and I am good. Then I can finally have a decent weapon for both of my characters. And all will be well. Brush one, my day! Jeez, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Thank you very damn much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you kindly. I really need to make those bit of modes, don't I? Birthday again. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. I have... Oh yeah, I didn't talk about my frivolous expenditure. I bought, I bought something for my birthday. Uh, because eh, I thought it could be nice. And because I'm horribly addicted to Dragon Quest, I, uh, I picked up, um... I got it for 60 bucks, but I got Dragon Quest 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6 for the SNES, for the Super Famicom. <laughs> now, the thing is, I still need to get a Super Famicom, but... <laughs> yeah, I have them now. Final got that song? No. Well, yes, but that's different. I thought it could be nice. I've I've been genuinely really getting into this series, so I thought like, hey, that could be fun. OG carts, OG carts. They actually came with their boxes and their uh, uh, their packaging and manuals and everything. It's actually really excited about it. Hunter's bow. All right, give that to Maya. That only cost me sixty bucks. Leave that shit. Oh man. Only $60 for all that? Yep. Right up. Even came with like a uh 
Got a whole, like, month to send it back if they're in bad quality. Yeah, really damn good deal. Uh, okay. Uh, do I really need to... Yeah, I can just heal. Now I don't have to rely on, uh, magic so much. Are they expensive collectibles now? No, not really. One thing that I've noticed about, uh, games over in Japan compared to games in the West... Um... Everything's a lot cheaper, the original, like, Japanese versions. <laughs> Everything. Everything. I got the entire, like, Final Fantasy series on PS1 for, like, I think, what, 80 bucks? I think, total? Ages ago? You'd think they are, but they're really not. Are you planning on playing Dragon Quest V? Yes! Uh, I finished 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I've just been kind of having fun going through the series, so... Honestly, I'm really liking 4. I think I am absolutely going to go to 5. Oh, man. Hope we stay friends for years. We've been friends for years. I mean, that doesn't mean we're going to stop being friends for years, but I digress. I like you, Jay. The North is about them on... Okay. All right. I shall heal. Right. Yeah, I've, I've noticed uh, games in uh, the West are very, very heavily scaled. Primarily, you know, what, what is what is uh, North America NA releases? Not NTSC, unless I'm crazy. Those releases are generally scalped to hell and back. <laughs> Thank you, Thoma. Thank you, Spin Grand Test. Six is a personal favorite of mine. I'd say so far three is uh, my favorite, but four is uh, four is really fun. I really like this whole um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, separate stories thing they're doing. How long has it been now since your pa passed away? That little puppy Mina found all the time ago has been living with me ever since. He's grown into a right clever lad. Yes, yeah, I'm sure he'll remember you. Ah. Why well, never? If it isn't Mr. Mahabala's lovely daughter. Look. At oh, okay. Let's say. Look back for longer, you'll have no place like home, eh? Welcome to Mount Mona, I don't know what that name means, but doesn't it sound great? <laughs> oh, silly me, you're Mr. Mahalbala's daughter, aren't you? Welcome back then. Happy day of escaping the meat egg. Yes, I know it's late. Hey, it's fine, this stream is late. If it's any consolation, I got a monster party member in this game. Healy. Uh, okay. Feather cap. I don't have any money. We need to work on that. Wow, wow. Oh, is that the dog? Is that their dog? Oh, does the dog follow? Oh, that's cute. Puppy. The dog barks in French. The dogs have been barking based on their region, I've noticed. <laughs> it's father's gravesite. Mina examines the area around their feet. Found seat of life. Here lies Mahabalaji, master of the ancient, ancient, ancient art of Rasatantra alchemy. I know this is our hometown, but it still is so, so boring. Our father's no more with us, but I'm still feeling at home here. Okay. Ba -ba. Yes, I have acquired a nut of life. Wait, who has it? Seed of life. Alright. Six HP is pretty good. Who's been my favorite character so far? Uh, so far out of everyone? Everybody? Um. Oh, shit! Oh, God damn it, there's poison in the. Why? <laughs> so far, um, I think Elena's group is my favorite. They had a lot of personality. I was kind of really enjoying them. God damn it. Da 
All right, I forget I can do that. Thank you, door. Hey. I know they're French. I don't know if they're from India. Is there an in India? There probably is. I haven't been there yet, though. There's a face who won't forget in a hurry. But Daemonas were now rather kindly calm when a dream of charging its own for accommodation. Oh, that's sweet. And do that for me back in the third game, bastards. Speaking of scalping, you guys have VG coming to get exposed to a call with a VG grading group. Oh my god, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, I heard about that. We need time to DM these poison towels make no sense. <laughs> oh man. Our father was killed. Mina is Romanian, Maya is Indian. Tell me. Aren't they... Aren't they... My sisters? Like... Like twins kind of deal? Maybe the same? That dirty rotten ball sack he was planning to steal your father's ideas right from the start. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's your father's other student, Ojam. I know where he is, you see? He's hiding out in a cave west of here. Ojem might just be able to help you track down Balzac. Ah, uh, okay. To the west! Okay. At least this time they're not telling you to go to the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, that's their... I almost never look at the top screen at all I saw. Horny devil. Okay, thanks. Alright, yeah, I, I looked at the top screen, like, I never look at, and I was like... It was like, Maya's the older sister. Oh yeah, and I look at their portraits, and all I see is horny devil underneath both of them that had a stroke. Okay. Balzac is pure evil. He came in and balzac all over the place. Please. Alright. No, I don't think it is where it came from. Happy level up. Hey, thanks. I can now cast whack. Oh, man. Ow. Rude. I feel like this ch this chest. I feel like this story is going to be harder, isn't it? Okay. They've definitely been going up in difficulty as they go. I don't really feel like Tornecos was that bad. Despite you starting from nothing. I feel like Elena's was the worst, and oh my god. Okay, alright, um... I, um... I... Hello? Snub. But the spell evaporates. Oh shit, she's dead! Ah! Ah! Okay. That is the last thing I expected for the slimes to do. Great goddess! Yeah. And hey, my sister's dead. Can you take care of her too? Oh, I mean, yeah, saving my game be nice, too, I guess. Okay, well, I did not, uh, not see that one coming. I did see the release day tour for Sandland. I still really don't know much about it, but... Okay, yeah. Who's Reviver? Thank you. Don't go wandering far, I didn't want that far. 
Oh man, okay. Back we go. Every quest in world done. Uh, eight star? For the, uh, rainbow? Now I just need to grind to Fortnite HR. Ah, you still have star level nine to do, too. <laughs> still got star level nine to do. Alright. Rainbow? Yeah, uh, me and Brave have been going for, uh, Rainbow in Monster Hunter World. If you complete every single quest from star level 1 to star level 8, and, uh, also capture every monster, and... That's basically it. Uh, if you do all that, then you get Rainbow. You said it didn't count for Rainbow Pigment. It doesn't count for Rainbow Pigment, but you'll have to stare at the incomplete for the rest of your life if you don't do it. Is your daddy only likes one of them enough to resurrect? <laughs> that sucks. Just the daddy needs its money. If I manage to do all one through eight stars, hey, we're all going to have our rainbow gear when we go into Iceborne. We're going to be decked out. We're going to look, be looking very, very gay. Uh. I might say grind through those quests for when I have Master Rank content. I'm probably not going to do that because I've been really enjoying the challenge. But one thing I've really liked about World is World feels like I have to have a pulse when I play it. Hello, Rise. I thought Rainbow Die wasn't in World or Rise. It is in World. If you complete all eight of the uh, all eight uh, levels of uh, all star ranks for them. Uh, then everybody, like, congratulates you and you gotta walk around and talk to everyone. All nine, there are nine ranks. You do not need to do rank nine to get it. Rank nine missions were added later. You can do rank nine, because if you do rank nine, you do get some other things that you can carry over into Iceborne. Uh, some mantles and stuff, I believe. But, um, no, rank 9 was added later. That's stuff like the tempered monsters and, uh, uh, like the Final Fantasy XIV quest. Yay! You didn't finish Sunbreak, dummy? I was, like, literally two missions from finishing it. It ain't bad. I'm not, like, at the beginning of Sunbreak. I just got bored. Man. It is worth knowing though, rank 9 does have a hidden mission. Uh, well, all the missions are hidden in rank 9. You have to, um, basically defeat an X amount of tempered monsters of different difficulties to unlock each mission. Um, and to unlock the final one, you need HR 100. And once you do that, you'll get the final, uh, 9 star rank, uh, mission. You heard me listen I loved Rise too. I liked Rise, it's just... Hunting... I, I don't know how I can explain how, like, repetitive Hunting Horn is in Rise. Y, B, Y, B, R, T. That's it. That's it. Then all you do is you just... You do the wire bug to give you double hit, and you just spam Y into, uh, Y into B. It's really boring. Really, really boring. Found Dragon Quest 4. Hey, thank you, Pukey. I will. Hey, Lucas. God, I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Just for his. Oh. Okay. See me hear that hunting horn? Yeah, I I really love it in world. I think it feels great in world. You can do a decent amount of damage, you can heal, you can buff, you can like give ear plugs, you can do different elemental like explosive attacks. It's it's neat. I like it in world. 
I enjoy. I kind of want to try going to the cave, but I know I'll get my ass beat. I don't like the food and rice. <laughs> the dongo. Who's the dapper gentleman with the nice mustache? No! Oh! I don't know. He's trying to sell me things, though. He's too committed to be a bottom or support. Ooh, and doesn't want to do it with ranged. I will break your knees with my spinning horn. Listen, the healing is just part of the side job. Ugh. If you need to give the monster a concussion, I'm your guy. The buffs just come with that. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Mr. Longsword. Play Hammer? Hammer's for the weak. No, I respect Hammer players. I take that back. Hammer players are like the Hunting Horn's cousins. There's nowhere to get further down this cave. I've looked everywhere. Okay. So that's terrifying. Um, are you gonna shoot magic at me? Oh god. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Attack. All right. Mm, you found the fun enemy? Yeah, fun. Okay. Kill myself, sap. Does that really only affect one random enemy? Okay. Uh, it's fine. No, it's not. Um, heal you, sap again. Hey. Now we attack. Man. Ugh. These things are rude. Does Shappy gets new battle music? Yeah. It's really cool, actually. I'm really digging this chapter. I need better armor than this. Well, that's how I get the money for it. Thing. There we go. Oh, no. Please, no poison. Hammer's rad you wouldn't play it and Morph wasn't redundant with you? I mean, you can still play Hammer. I don't see why not. I have a friend who plays Hammer when I play Hunting Horn, it goes just fine. I mean, yeah, you can't tail cut, but... It's fun to give it concussions. It's hard to believe there's anyone down here in this gloomy, gloomy cave. Right, let's get armor. Uh, shall we? Kinda want armor, kinda want a better weapon, too. I kinda need a lot of things, shit. I feel like I'm really expected to just level up a bit at the beginning. So if there's one thing I've learned in Dragon Quest, money feels like it's more important than XP. Uh, I mean, leveling up does help, I've noticed, but... Gear seems to be the godsend. Commit air sonic spin whenever with Hammer and Rise. Actually, uh, Hammer and Hunting Horn have a really fun interaction. Where you can have, uh, Hammer launch the Hunting Horn player. And they can do that fucking jet thruster explosion thing. <laughs> it's actually a really, really fun interaction. Oh man. Hey, Faraya, thank you for the eight month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, I'll try to be back later. Have a great one. Oh, thank you. No, it's less like a birthday celebration, just kind of like a really long thing. You know what I mean? Just kind of like a really long stream. No, oh, Lord. Just tail cut when you need to. Up the sword? Yeah, just go hammer. Let's see why not. How goes the dragon quest? It goes very well. Time to hunt a tempered basil geese without vomiting. <laughs> yeah? Happy birthday, Spacey. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you. Oh, man. No, you. What is this? There we go. And Great Swords repeatedly launch herself. <laughs> hey, thank you, the Dallas. Thank you, Thistle. I appreciate it. Technically, my birthday was yesterday, but I had the worst migraine, and I decided not to stream. Better now, though. So that's nice. And I had some tasty chicken before I did stream, and now I'm hopped up on caffeine. Bum, 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 bum. Oh god, my god. Ah. What is this? Uh, should I just buy the weapon first and then buy the armor? Just so that uh, Mina can do more damage? Hey! Your Nine Tails, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome to the Null Patrol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It well, depends on how much you want to wait for you to do big numbers. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, the one thing that I've really appreciated in uh, Monster Hunter is just how, I guess, versatile the player base is. I love seeing everyone use different weapons. And I never see other Hunting Horn players with the exception of one time when I was doing Code Red and I bumped into two other Hunting Horn mains. And it was just, every time the monster was down, everyone's just spamming the horn spin, and it just sounds like a clusterfuck of music, and it's great. Oh, man. Oh, Ryu! Hey, thank you for the five gift subs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Everybody, let's take the associated idea of Motopi and join them. Arachne of the Spires, traveler passing by. Hey, fair enough. We don't have alcohol, but we do have zebra cakes. Sometimes we have alcohol. I think that's a bad. Yeah, it's bad. I'm excited to play wilds? Oh, same. Hunting horn is the least popular with only 1%? What? But. But. but Taka la guitarra! <laughs> really? That's not. That can't be true. I refuse. I can't be true. Alright, Hunting Horn is rare because with being seen as co-op weapons, so many stick to something they can run solo easier. I, I will be honest, whenever the game tells me to fight something solo, I feel a little piece of myself die inside, but, you know. Besides that... <laughs> eh. Hunting Horn is having such a tiny player base is why they reworked it. Wow, fantastic. When I played Rise, I also didn't run into any other Hunting Horn players, and the Hunting Horn was just arguably worse. Great. <laughs> fantastic. I still didn't meet any other- I think in the whole fucking time I played, I met like two other Hunting Horn mains. Poop. Dos. Oh, man. I did two playthroughs of that game. Give it a bump, bump. How is Hunting Horn the least love, though? You get to, like, play music and do really cool buffs and be like, Oh, you're going to do wind attacks? It doesn't matter. They're not happening now. Oh, you're going to make us all go deaf? Oh, I've got earplugs. Poisoned? No, we're not. Regenerative healing? Yeah, sure, let's go. Our attack is now increased by, like, 100 for each player. Yeah, sure, defense. I got that. How can, how can, how can you hate that? And you look like you're holding a huge-ass bong. I mean... Yeah, but it's funny, though. Oh, man. Okay, hey, 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 single slime. Doesn't that depend on the horn? 
Oh yeah, but I mean, it depends on the horn you got. You can bring the horn. I mean, I got a horn right now that does earplugs and wind resistance. It's pretty cool. I think the one that I'm using right now is earplugs, healing large, healing regeneration, uh, dodge window up, and some other stuff. Boom. Hunting horns can sound good. Sometimes they sound awful. That entirely depends on the instrument, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's fun to follow the music sheet and do different combos and seeing the effects. Uh, it's fun. I enjoy. I like watching the buff bar, like, just get new icons every time I do something. Alright. Yep, let's rest here tonight. God, I cannot wait to go into Iceborne to get my Zenogre set. Oh, God. I want my Zenogre set. Oh. I want it. I need it. I need my Zenogre set. Oh, my God. Hey, is there an armor shop in town? No, there's totally not. I gotta go back to the previous town for that. But that's fine. Uh, that is... Well, you do sell the Feathered Cap, which is really fucking good. But again, we have, like, no... No money. Unless I sell the literal clothes off my sister's back, I just really don't want to sell that though. <laughs> ah. Bum 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 bum. Imagine switch one two different attack types to different music sets. I mean, you you ba you basically have a go fuck yourself button where you slam it into the ground and spin it, and it does a shit ton of damage. So. And some horns have attacks that do a lot of damage, like the, uh, the Dragon Wave, which is just explosion after explosion of, like, AoE 100 damage. But it's not like you don't have damage options as Hunting Horn. It just depends on what you decide to bring. That hurt. Okay, these things do a lot of damage out of nowhere. Who are you people? Uh... Okay. Dazzled. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Alright. Where did you come from? Alright. Well, shit. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Well, something was that you had to relearn your combos every time you upgrade your weapon and white horn without attack, it was just objectively worse, which are both fixed by the group, but what cost? It's... How hard is it to know your combos? It's right there in the top right of the screen. I have not once at any point had that problem. And having to do different combos of each hunting horn is way more interesting than YB, YBRT. I fucking hate that. I really do. Genuinely, I love the fact that I have to do different combos to do different things, as opposed to doing the same brain-dead combo the entire game with every horn, and having less- and having less songs, period. Also, Inferno Song is annoying, because enemies running away when you cast Inferno Song, you really only get to do it once or twice a hunt. I'm not a fan of Inferno Song. I'm not a fan of the uh, the ear wire thing you can do. Because there's so much saver suck behind, and you can only do them, like, again, once or twice a hunt. There's not even a reason to do the thing where you jam your horn and then strum it to do the big explosive hit, because you need that wire available in case you need to escape. It just kind of makes the hunting horn feel like your options are really limited. Really limited. My brain isn't capable of learning the songs of the hunting horn. That's why there's like 15 other weapons! Ugh. Oh god, my eyes. Ugh. Full first wyvern fire instant cool reload. Full burst wyvern fire. How much money do I have you? Okay. This chapter kind of feels like it's beating my ass a little bit. It's your birthday. Thank you, Poochie! Thank you, thank you. I am lost in more Monster Hunter. 
And I'm going to try and go to this cave and not die. Mm. The Monster Hunter talk is to keep my sanity while I sit here grinding to make my uh, two very weak mages stronger. Uh, this chapter feels a little mean about it. In the past three chapters, I got some sort of fighter, you know? And here it's like, no, I just get two really, really squishy characters. Alright. Uh, heal us both, I guess. Hey, thank you, not long. <laughs> yeah, let's bash some enemies down here, and then, uh... I should have enough money to actually get better gear. Oh my god, don't poison me. Just run. Thank you. We're gonna avenge our father. Have you ever fought before? No. <laughs> really though, shit. Oh lord. Uh, yeah, just... There we go. Uh, we got defense up, the one on the right. Cool. Uh, Saba. Ah, oh. rude. <gasps> hey, that fucking king slime man. Fifty-one gold coins for that. If I die, I'll have more than one to start with. Uh, don't want to go that way. That looks like some sort of teleporter elevator. Ugh. God! Do I even have an antidote? I, I totally don't. Ugh. <laughs> sure. Sure, prisoner. Uh, you know Squelch, I think? Do I? No, I do not. No Squelch yet. Uh, fire attack him. Oh my god, this game. Uh, right, no, 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 wait. I'm going. I'm getting this mixed up. Never mind. Okay. You. Your sister. No, I don't have squelch yet. I wish. Ah. Wimp. Yeah. <gasps> That's rude. Wait, she does have it. It wasn't in my menu. I just checked. It's a field spell? What? You can't use it in battle. Huh. I changed it. Can't use it in combat because it doesn't do anything in combat. Uh, okay, fair enough. Alright, you're squelched. Shit. Full disclaimer, I did not know that. I didn't see it, so I just assumed I didn't have it. Usually, usually I can cast it in combat even if it doesn't do anything. So I thought I just didn't have it on my spell list. Now Spacey hates that enemy a little less. Oh no, he poisoned me again. I still fucking hate him. Hmm. I get a lot more money being down here though. Uh, I think I'm going to jet to go uh, buy some armor now that I have the money. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna heal my sister. <laughs> At least it isn't Beetle Boys. Yeah, oh no, Winkster. Ah. Hey, Trippin' Crow! Thank you for the 10 gift subs! 
Thank you, thank you very much! Y'all, I hope you enjoy the associated hyenas. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yo, Basil Geese in a hunting partner said, Fuck you, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> god. Uh, oh god. Heal. Heal. Hey, thank you very much, Trippin' Pro. Again, I hope you enjoy the hyenas. Thank you very much. Is it Jeff Basil Geese? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh wait, the uh, the nice hat is in this town. Uh, I think I want 200 something for it, but I can always put that on one person. That's not bad. This means I can stay out longer. Chain sickle. That's not. If I buy the leather dress, I can make a 50 gold profit, but I shouldn't. But what's better? This is better. It's way better, because I put that on Mina. Uh, yeah, Mina, definitely equip it. Okay, let's sell the... Wasn't I wearing different armor, or am I... Did I accidentally sell the clothes off Mina's back? Oh my god, I think I did. <laughs> Oops! I didn't even realize that. Is that why she was taking so much damage? Oh, I fucked up. I absolutely did that. Yeah, right at the beginning of the game. I thought I picked up a, like, duplicate. Oops. My bad. Well, she has armor now. <laughs> now she won't explode this time, hopefully. Wow, I, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to make Mina naked, my bad. I thought I, I thought I had armor for her. That merchant run as he uses some weird tactics, yeah. You did, but you gave Maya the wrong silk robe and handed over Mina's, then sold the unequipped one, so she's been unarmored this whole time. Oops, that explains why this has been harder than it should have been. <laughs> Bad. Oh shit. Oh man. Hey, Mina's not taking damage now. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we'll go back into the cave. We'll, ch we'll get some more money. I think I, I think I walked the wrong way. I walked the wrong way. But no, no, no. Uh, can I try? No, it's going to do the thing again. Oh my god. Why they even attempt? Why are you here now? Ah! Uh. Oh, it's do or die. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Sucks. Uh. Great. Mina's fallen about. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. The king decides when you may go. I don't think I like King Slime very much. Oh my god, the church is all the way back at the bottom. Oh! Well, Maya gets some bonus XP over her sister, I guess. Not that Maya wasn't already leveling up first anyways, but, you know. Rich get richer in this case. Time for a journey! I love bumping into King Slime and immediately having to redo my progress. Oh, fuck. Alright. <laughs> What's the temperature in Florida? It's like high 60s, isn't it? This time of year? 
I think it's like really rainy, actually. King Slime says, "Fuck your progress." I don't. I don't think I like King Slime at all. Sixties is kind of considered cold for Florida, so it is. It is chilly there. No, not you, Mike. You're not, you're not preventing my progress in killing me in the side of the road. Not you, Mike. We like you. Okay. Please revive my sister. I finally give Amina armor and she'll take less damage and she's dead. <laughs> Man, I I try hard in these games and these games just fucking ain't my soul. I was thinking like, yeah, it's the DS game, surely it'll be easier because it's like way later down the road and then it turns out it's not really that easy. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. I have successfully recorded your adventure along. Yeah, 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 let me go. Oh, shit. I remember the storm my father in New York began to vote with my grandma on four, which said it's too cold here at 68 degrees. He got in trouble with her because he hung up the second he heard that. Well, you know what? People need to learn about, you know, relative temperature based on location and not get angry over that kind of thing, you know what? You know, you don't hang up on your grandma. You know, he, he deserves to be in trouble. <laughs> oh, man. What's this leather hat, hairband? That hairband is a lot better than a hat. Um, but I kind of want the leather dress for... Right. So that carrying your dead sister on a coffin around that's so messed up. Hey, you know, we're trying to, like, you know, save our... Avenge our dad and stuff. My god, this is, like... Harder. Purely on the grounds that, like, I just have no money at the start, and enemies don't give money unless I go inside that damn cave. I'm trying to get to the cave, but King Slime is beating my ass. Let's take your dad to the church. It only works if you're a chosen one. That, that's the rule to Dragon Quest. You've got to be a chosen one. If you're not, then you don't get free revives. You're shit out of luck. I just think this encounter is really funny based on the grounds of my entire progression is determined if I bump into King Slime or not. <laughs> There's something fucked up about that. <laughs> That smile, that damn smile. Free revives is a donation to the church. I mean, hey, it's better than, yeah, yeah, you're, you're kind of right, but you know. Ugh. It's like D&D &D logic. Can't you, like, revive anybody, though, in D&D, &D, so long as, like, I don't know, something's intact? Actually, I think there's revives that can, like, even do that if there's nothing intact. <laughs> You are not named after a type of bread. No revive for you. <laughs> Chat wasn't named after bread, I think. Yeah, no, revivals in D&D &D are like... It's, it's context sensitive and there's like certain spells. There's a time limit. There's like one spell that lets you do it over like hundreds of years, isn't it? Like True Resurrection or whatever the hell it's called. There's like one revive spell that's just really good, I think. Raven Queen gets pissy otherwise. That's a ninth level? Yeah, but it exists. You need to know the person name and that's it, but it's stupid expensive. Kind of died of old age of more than 200 years. For which spell? Revivify? Actually, Revivify is like, what, 10 minutes or something? Which honestly, in game, that's a lot of fucking time, but regardless. Da -da -da -dum -dum. Wish could also do the trick. Wish can do anything. 
Wish is purely under the grounds of whatever your DM decides. So yeah, Wish could revive everyone. Revivify is one minute? Oh, um, okay. Still, that is a lot of time. <laughs> That's like, what, six turns? Wish is just a plot card? Yeah. You know, it still works. <laughs> it's it's a spell. Can't pretend it's not. Woman is ten turns. What? I thought each turn was six seconds. I'm an idiot. Don't please ignore me. Please ignore me. I don't know how to do math today. Also, this is a lot of enemies. Please don't ignore me. Spacey, it's my it's my birthday. I'm allowed to not do math. Yeans are not here for math. <laughs> they never said he was smart. Yeah, I'm just a yeah, I'm just a scientist. Scientists don't need to know math, right? <laughs> ah! Okay, I should probably fix that. Uh, yeah, okay. Work on this. Okay. Uh. Ah. 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 Okay. He's never book smart, he's money smart, makes him more intelligent. Holy fuck. I post a picture of Zero screaming it's January 7th on January 7th, and now the single person got it and it made me sad. Uh, heal. They still have sap. Nope! Not that good. Or buff, I mean. Revivify intact. Body, one minute, raise dead, intact body, ten minutes, resurrection, most of the body, a hundred years, true resurrection, you need a memory from any time. Huh. That's pretty good. That was a lot of XP. Wait, that was the joke? Yeah, that was the joke, I'm sorry. I now know Sizz. And I got 90 gold from that, holy shit. It's really good, actually. Okay, uh, let's cast Squelch. Alright, heal. Mega Man drops January 7th. Ugh. Are you one of those scientists that licks the rocks to identify them? No, oh, I just lick, I just lick the whales. Oh wait, that was the joke. Fuck, I get it now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ugh. I got 34 new coins. Ugh. I need to trim my beard. I eat coral and lick whale. Kill. Determine algae. They don't eat the algae. They don't actually eat the algae. God. They would never see the co- oh shit. They would never see the COVID marine biologist jokes. I understand if you didn't. That may be niche. Ain't that the Dean from SMT? I think it's from a lot of things. No. Oh, hey. Didn't notice the presence of the party. Okay. There was just a lot of jokes about marine biologists working from home and they're just drowning themselves in the bathtub. Hey! Thank you, Juna. Thank you, thank you. 500. The best few times the Fabubian, they, they explode from the explosion, hurt the yin. They usually get reduced down to 1 HP. Marine biologist going to work drives off a bridge. Fuck. Feathered cap. Okay. Put it right now. Oh my god, everything's so expensive, I hate you. Have I really gotten, like, no item drops either? I really have not. Oh my god, it's taking so long to equip my characters. 
Oh. <laughs> Mara, the schlongest lord of SMT. At, at least it's not Mara. Uh, Torneko has spoiled you with loot drops. Really, though? Ugh. I should have really rested at the end, but... Actually, I'm close to picking up the leather dress. If I do that, I can just sell the dancers. <laughs> oh, man. Bubba -dum -bum, bubba -dum -bum. Fuck it, maybe I will sell the dancer's outfit. I hope I don't need that. Uh, okay. I can sell that, then I can buy the feathered cap. Okay. Uh, yeah. Got the dress for Maya. Okay. Sell the dancer's alpha for 300. Okay. Yeah, it didn't give me a warning. It's not unique. Okay. Hey, thank you for the five month resub, Frederick. Happy belated birthday, Mr. E. Hey, thank you. Thank you very damn much. Okay. Now my party is equipped with decent armor. All right. I got weapons, I got armor, I rest and I went into the wrong building. I rest. And off I go, and damn it, I just got the joke, Kao. Okay. They've actually got really similar stats. They'd he they'd have even more similar if I didn't give Mina plus six HP. <laughs> okay. We usurping King Slime now? No, not yet. In time though. Can we point Baguette as the new king? You think Baguette would be a good ruler? Probably better than Loaf. No offense. Hey, okay. <laughs> okay, kids. Thank you. Damn kind of you. Baguette will rule with an iron fist. You've seen what Loaf is capable of. That is true. That is true. What's up here? Oh, thank you, Lero Gifts. Why do I always find Chimera Wings in dungeons? I know what they're for, I get it, but I never really can use them that well. Just being an item that just lets me go to the front of the dungeon. Okay. Oh! I'll take a look when I can! And yeah, thank you very much! An Iron Fist tournament? Oh! Loaf would be a terrible unit of measurement. <laughs> God. Measure everything by loaves. That probably won't be that bad. Fungal. Yeah, erase that thing. I said ruler. Did yeah, it's a, uh... It's a different kind of ruler we're thinking of here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I wish I could have had that a moment ago. <laughs> Damn. Bum 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 bum. Thirty dogu? Yes. What's that? Oh, seed of life. Nice. Uh. 
Should I, should I give that to Maya? Uh, up, I guess. I mean, down, I guess. Give Maya to see the life. I already gave Mina one. See, what my fear is, is because everybody is not in a party yet. I, I, I'll i be, I'll be totally transparent. I don't know if one of these characters is gonna, like, eat shit. <laughs> That's why I'm, like, scared of giving them... That's why I'm scared of giving them items. I'm, like, afraid somebody's just gonna, like, fall onto a bear trap or something. <laughs> What's that? Okay, it was important, I guess. <laughs> supposed to be looking for anybody else here? Wait, aren't I supposed to look for Ojan, anyways? Oh, man. Let's give all the seed to the hero. Yeah. Oh, the character we named at the beginning, I'm guessing. Yeah, we haven't seen them yet, have we? I hear in the uh, the original versions of the game to that little prologue, uh, where you see the pro tag, uh, is not in the game. That's like not until I think what the PS1 remake they did that. Yeah, Rofu. Yeah, that's really wild. I've been playing this game for a while now. We have not seen Rofu yet. <laughs> nah, man. And that's like the main character we'll be controlling because then we can use the AI settings. That prologue was not in the NES version. That's gotta be really wild playing this game for the first time on NES and then like... Naming your pro tag at the start of the game and then just never seeing them for like... Fuck, I don't know, 15 hours? Okay. Yes, I, yeah, I really gotta utilize actually looking at the top screen. <laughs> the interest for DW2 and 3 didn't exist in the Japanese Famicom Originals 2, but they were added for the NES localizations. Really? So they actually added more content to the uh, US releases. That's actually cool. Or for the international release. Really, I don't even think I need to cast Sap. Tina does a good enough damage on her own. Alright. Up we go. I mean, down we go. Doesn't that mean all of this is the prologue? Uh. I don't think so. I mean, there was a chapter that was literally the prologue, so I mean, I don't know. I really like the idea of this all being chapter, uh, chapter separated. Ah, it's just kind of neat. I like that we're getting a, uh, up close and personal with these characters before they actually do join the party, you know? It's letting you, like, intimately get to know their story and their characters and how they play. It's hard to believe that there's anyone down here in this gloomy, gloomy cave. It's dark, it is damp, it is cold. My back is itchy scratchy. Was I mentioning that I hate this place? <laughs> oh, man. The Japanese version of Dragon Quest VIII had no voice acting and a MIDI soundtrack, but the English PS2 release had full voices for every cutscene and orchestrated songs. Jeez. Oh, man. It's amazing how much your survivability goes up when you put anything at all in between Mina's body and monster attacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. I assume that is who we are looking for, then. I guess that's important. <laughs> hey. Oh, my dear young miss. It's me here, Ojam. This is crazy, crazy talk you are making. You are on a mission of revenge for your father? They must be coming with you, please. The revenging is for me also. I've been recuperating myself here while I'm thinking only of revenging Mahab Mahabalaji. 
And I'm hearing talk of Balzac that he is selling souls to the devil and making himself really tough, tough. That's why I'm looking for the Sphere of Silence, the only way to steal away his magical powers. That's just it. You're having it already, I see. Well, I must be joining you. Okay. Cool. Balzac? Yeah, Balzac. PlayStation 10 version of Dragon Quest 8 edited the hero's model to give him Super Saiyan hair when he powers up. <laughs> That's actually great. Okay. Congratulations, you find the fighter. Oh, is he not controllable? Oh, he's not. He has that question mark level. <gasps> oh no, that means he's temporary. Wait. <gasps> Healy! If anything happens to Healy, I will kill everything in the room. <laughs> Healy! That just like dawned in my head. Nothing better lay a hand on Healy. <laughs> Nothing better lay a hand on Healy. Oh my god. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Ah. Oh man. Yeah, new ending. Got it. Definitely. Oh, his portrait. <laughs> does he know? Oh shit, he does damage. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, Ojan. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sure. You're more than welcome to join us. Mina learned improve and whoosh, whoosh. All right, we have no more to do in this awful, awful place. No, then let us be going. Come on, chop, chop. All right. Uh. Okay. Whoosh's inferno. Really. Huh. What? Hey, doing good, Conan. How you doing? You look handsome, not gonna lie. <laughs> you hitting on, uh, Ojan. Oh, man. Hey, Rodron, thank you for the 45-month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a subdued name for Inferno, right? Happy birthday stream, hey, grazie. Guess I gotta go north now. Oh man, where am I, South America? With France? Oh my gosh. Described as a heated wind. Slice through a group of- Wait, whirlwind? Wait, that's not Inferno. Oh, that- that's, uh, that's that one damn spell from three. Three and two that Paulos could use. It's like a cleric spell. Oh my gosh. Oh. A tornado gale force, whatever the fuck it was called. Hey, thank you, Conan. I love all these dumb names. Yeah. Da, da, da. I suppose I cannot change his armor by any means. Alchemist. Oh yeah, that's right. Our father's uh, protege was also an alchemist. Or I mean, our father was an alchemist, right? Uh, okay. All of Mina's stats are better than Maya's. Oh no. Zipping my lips and going north. Dum dum boom boom. 
Red flag. No, no more flags. Oh no, with a smiley face. Don't you fucking dare. I like Maya's character. Don't you dare. Uh. Oh, hey, kingdom. Kill those things. Oh, shit, I'm kind of tanky. Wait, what was its name? Ratatatatatatata? Oh, rat attack! Fuck off. Ugh. Okay. Oh, you can, like, stop attacking Milo now. Thank you, Ojem. Uh. Oh, God. Yeep. Oh, my writing senses is tell me it isn't Maya you should be worried about. It's it's like the nervous factor is kicking in. Like, I'm sorry, whenever there's like a brother or sister or twins or something, you know, like... Something, I, I'm not... <laughs> this is the Great Palais de Lyon. Okay. It's locked. But Ojan picks it open. Hello? You're a lockpick? Okay. Blind's the Chancellor of this castle. In my personnel chamber, if you do not leave. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright. Anything else up here? What? Oh, those were stairs? What the f- Oh my god, I thought it was like going up to the lion head. I didn't like think it was. Okay. I didn't think it would take me to the next floor. <laughs> oh, Jean, the master of unlocking. I see how it is now. Just breaking in. Like, genuinely? Oh, a new dancer's gosh, That's 300 gold. Fuck it. Yeah. Hot cuisine and fun wine as a jour de vivre as a paradise on earth. E. Paradise. Paradise. Hey. Come back, my petite coquette. Let me get my hands on you. Non move, you catch me. Okay. Why does that feel like that's not the first time I've seen a French joke like that? Don't worry, it's role playing. Probably. Hello? Hi. Mon dieu! How can the Chancellor love himself so much when he is such a useless coward? He is full of the amour proper. This makes a lot of noise outside his chamber and see how he reacts. He'll be so startled he'll go running to the Marquis Brigen. Brigen? There's only one man who knows the whereabouts of the new Marquis Brigen's chamber, and that's the Chancellor. You'll probably find out where once if you followed him. I'd like to be the one to do it, mind you. Okay. Pepe, yeah, you're right. Oh my god. What country are we in? France. We're, we're in France. <laughs> I am the researcher of magic for the castle. Pardon, what kind of magic? Is <laughs> that is something I cannot reveal to you, my friend? Not ever. Okay. Hey, Orgo Stavani, thank you for the 29 on 37. Grazie! Loud noise. It's a gleaming gold statue of a dragon. Need a loud noise. Okay. Do anything like that? I have a sphere of silence that is the exact opposite of a loud noise, and I have a night light. Is there anything to, like, the heal here, or what? Found a dragon, your quest is complete. Yeah? Oh, Jean picks it open. Where is the throne room of the Marquis Regen? Regen? 
A new lid is in my QB the most careful man. I heard Zed even has a secret chamber. Okay. I gotta find a nearby location. Oh, my fingers. Oh, hey, town. Well, that guy gives zero fucks about that you broke into his room. Yeah. This is a port of Harbor de Leon. Ships from your sail from to Endor in the north. Okay. I am Susie. It's very, fl it's very flattering that you're so eager to come chez moi. The pub doesn't open till the evening, I'm afraid. Pardon. Okay. This has been a friendly, fitting time to have the protagonist named Baguette. Yeah, really. Ever since this new Marquis... What'd they say? Wait, no, no, no. What, what'd he say? The soldiers have to speak with that stupid accent. <laughs> That's... So, the new regent came in and he's forcing everyone to speak with a French accent. Alright. So they're all faking it here? What? <laughs> Nobody tell Andre or Leroy I'm gonna... I'm gonna DM Stan about this. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. Uh, iron armor for coats. Oh wow. For coat's really good, actually, for Maya. Uh, I feel like I should throw that on Maya instead. Okay. They're faking it, the French don't exist. <laughs> Please. Uh, let's sell the dancer's costume. That's a free 300. Okay, then I sell the leather dress. Everybody else has their... That would be the twist of the century if everybody in this game is faking their accents. That would be the twist of the millennium, holy shit. I want that iron armor. That would, that would, honest to God, be the funniest thing in this game if that actually turns out to be true. That's mandate of law. Everyone has to speak with that accent. It makes it bonus funny that nobody had accents in the first three games, and this is like an alternate timeline. This is an alternate timeline where the French exist. Huh. Don't seem to be any particularly interesting books. Mining Songs, the full lyric collection. And it takes from the shelf and reads. We dig, we dig, and then we dig some more. We really dig our digging. Yeah, that's for sure. But Mina doesn't know how the tune goes, so they can't sing along. <laughs> Hello. I'm in love. I'm in love with the most beautiful girl in the world. I'm gonna make her my wife, I am. Uh, who is she? Oh, no, I'm all embarrassed as well. Her name's Susie from the pub. Oh. I'm take your shot. Why would you bring it up in the first place? I'm just going to assume everyone's faking their accents because that'd be much funnier. Yeah. I forgot this was the end. And in I go. Okay, let us, uh, bah, 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 bah. let us get some, uh, tasty things. Money, I mean, for good armor. Kill some of the enemies here. Guys, thank God we have Ojan. Boom, boom. 
Oh, the Scottish section? Ah. Shrine. Hungry? Oh, God. Thank you, Ojan. Uh, you're my, uh... Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. At least we heal for a bunch. The second part is Russia. First part is Scotland, second part is Russia, third part is Ireland. Fourth part is France. Ah. I was just telling Stan I'm in the French part of Dragon Quest IV. <laughs> Canada soon? Welcome to Mammon Mine, or should I say good luck to you in Mammon Mine? There is no place for people now. Oh. There's a funny smell and gas coming out of mine. People are dropping like flies. Oh, maybe you should all, like, leave from here? Probably. There's a nice town. Return to the Scottish section? No, you go to Ireland after that. This was a place most, most lively once, but now Oklahoma. My dearest wife has taken from me. She is no more. I wish to be buried here alongside Machete. Yikes. Don't need that yet. Nice to have. person next door. Me? Oh no, I've always looked after the sick and injured. I couldn't leave, not now. You value your life, you won't go down that mine. Ever since that weird gas started seeping out, there's been monsters by the car. There is literally a town nearby that is like less than a day away. I, I think y'all could make it. Even the cat is sick! Oh, that's tragic. Even the cat is coughing, that's terrible. How's an old man supposed to be living, eh? Oh, damn it. Anyways, if that's what you're here for, there might be sputter- Oh, goddamn, what are you saying? How's a man supposed to make a living? He used to make gunpowder and ban out over the Chancellor, you know? Anyways, if that's what you're here for, there might be- Sorry, there might be some left down in the mine. Ah, okay. Never forget Loaf becoming an American cult. I God. <laughs> Loaf created New York, thrown into jail for his crimes for overworking everyone. God. Store's locked. How do I go in? I need the key. You still that dying man's medicine? Eh. Be fine. It'll be fine. This is a church. Uh, yeah, I guess I can save. I feel like y'all should leave? Really, town, not even a day away. Like, half a day, not even. Do it for the cat, man. Oh, can I just like, oh, okay. to the mine. Hmm. It looks like I can just walk around past the fence, but it won't let me. It'll send me to the overworld and seems being a dick about it. Oh, wait. There it is. Holy shit, there's just a dead guy there. Y'all need to fucking leave. Oh my god. Seed of magic. Cool. 
Careful, there's monsters down here, loads of them. Skeleton has a note. Skeleton's also surrounded by poison. Ugh. Vampire Battler. I seem to have mistaken this part of Umineko. And everyone's asleep except for Aya. Okay, that's really bad. Um. This is. We have the spell for a reason. Ah, uh. uh. brutal, brutal. Yeah, I guess she's a problem, but shit, man. Damn, that's a lot. I know, I know they only do one damage, so I'm gonna want to step in it. I can get it later. Zoom! That's good. Uh, I feel like I should leave. There's gas here, there are monsters here. I'm wondering if there's some connection. Uh, I kind of want to go back and get that really good armor that was like 1,200. Zoom is returned? Yeah, I remember. I do remember that. We had a character with Zoom earlier. Let's go get, um... Let's go get some good stuff. Am I the best Persona Pro Tag? I would agree with you on that. Though I also really love Tatsuya as well, but I'd probably say Maya. But I, I think it's only because we get more time with Maya talking than with Tatsuya talking. Oh, man. Ah. Mm, there we go. Oh. Guys are doing a lot of damn damage now. So much so I'm leveling up every fight. That's concerning. Okay. Ah, the town's up here. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, thank God. At least the XP's coming in quicker now. That is true. I thought they were summoning King Slime to beat my ass, I'll be honest. Oh wait, the pub's open at night. Well, hey, this is the life. I am Susie. Dance with me. I'm rushed off the fest. I'm I am rushed off the feet. Look how much they're all drinking. One order after another. You know the end of returning. I heard it was a princess of all people who won it. You know. And there's more. When the princess went home after the competition, she found the castle she lived in totally empty. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Oh, no, that's funny. It's taken so long. Where's my drink? This was a peaceful land before. The old king was a good man, but he's passed away most suddenly. His son did not take the throne himself. How can he gave the carte blanche to another man, not even a blood relation? As the country's on route to ruin, huh? Is the name of the new Marquis Regent? Bao something? Balzac! They gotta kill a king? Are you gonna assassinate a king? As if so, that's kind of metal. Yeah, the region is Balzac. Gonna assassinate a king. Curing everyone with a French accent. <laughs> oh god, that really is the plot line for this, isn't it? That's fucked up. Alright. Some good armor. Uh, let's see. That, yeah, that iron armor is what I want. It's really good. Give it to Mina. Absolutely equip that. Uh, 
dress, sell the leather dress. Uh, leather hat. I thought killing the king is the most French thing to do. Honestly? Yes. Maybe this is how they actually become French. This is this a dock? Like, can I get a boat here kind of thing? It's like I can. Yay! Yay! Oh, we are literally breaking out the guillotine. Fuck yeah. We got a boarding pass. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see. We gotta find a large thing to get to the guy inside of the castle that'll make a big bang. We're gonna use a powder keg, and then we're gonna get a boarding pass to leave. Okay. There's enormous Coliseum in Endor. I was a contestant once myself. I was quite a fighter in my younger years. You're not truly French, so you overthrow one monarch, beheading them is optional. <laughs> is that old man really a fighter in his young days? He didn't look so tough to me. God, there's so much dialogue in this game. All right, I'm going to go to Ender so badly that it's hurting. All right, scale shield, give that to Nina. Right. Oh man. Base to Guy Fox. Base become Guy Fox. Aren't the French like known for uh you know revolution? <laughs> Speaking out against their government and killing their officials. Isn't that, isn't that like what they're known for? Are there monarchies on top of that? Hey! Sweet Shiba! Thank you for the eight month resub! Thank you, thank you! They're also known for Napoleon. I think they liked him very much. Did Marie Antoinette have her cake and eat it too? I think she also got that. I think she was one of the beheadings. Pretty sure she got beheaded for saying that. Uh, right. Let's rest here against my better judgment. And we'll save. It was a particularly tough crowd the day she said that. <laughs> French hated Napoleon. The movie was rated really low on the Ron Tomato. On the what? Well, I mean, I I guess there's a Napoleon movie. There's probably a Napoleon movie. I mean, I'd imagine there is one by now. She never said that if I remember correct. I thought she did say that, and that was like, kind of like, you know, what she was known for. Okay. When did the French actually surrender? I hear that, but every time I hear about the French, all I hear about them is being bloodthirsty. Propaganda attributed to her. Yeah. The Napoleon movie is historically inaccurate. Really? World War II, but the resistance kept fighting. I actually forgot that they surrendered in World War II. Genuinely. Because Germany steamrolled them during it. Oh. It wasn't great by far, but the let them eat cake is a famous myth. Really? Only bloodthirsty if you're a politician or royalty. Good. No reply, it's just a corpse. Yeah? Hey, thank you, GBA. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, shit. We should watch all the Fred movies in the Discord together. 
Is that somehow related to Napoleon? Do I want to know? Holy shit! Putting Ojan in front. Oh, can I change? I actually didn't think about that. <laughs> Wait, I actually totally forgot I can change party order. This is like the first time I've been, like, had a reason to. I totally forgot you can do that. Aren't you proud of my stream of consciousness? That's stuck in your head too, huh? Silver tarot cards, Maya obtained them. Tarot cards. Can also be used for fortune telling. Oh, is this unique to uh, Mina? Oh my god, it is. Alright. That's a unique weapon because... Yeah, because of her class is very specifically fortune teller. No shit. Oh man. Oh, you were joking about Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Silver tarot cards can be used in battle. I know, I... Oh wait, you mean as an ability. Also, really quick before we continue, uh, I gotta use the washroom, so I will be back in just a moment. If you don't mind me. Uh, and stir our pro tag. Yeah. BRB if you do not mind.
that exist. I think, therefore I am. Where am I? Eh. This. So happy. I mean, I'm really happy. Ah. I'm gonna send me this thing, but it's so big. Oh my god. Oh, it's so big and heavy. I'll steal one of his chocolate chips when he gets back. You wouldn't dare. Be dragging? It's like a big, uh, it's like a big fluffy robe. So I wouldn't die of freezing. Uh, let's see, there we go. Alright. Alright, alright. So, a uh, funny thing I saw. Uh, so everybody's been talking about color grading, right? Blowing off my glasses a little bit. Everybody's been talking about color grading lately. So there's one in, uh. So there's a bit of a color grading thing with the French release of, I think it's, uh, what is it? Uh, Moomin? <laughs> I need to show you this. I need to, I need to show you this. Uh. So. The French release of Moomin, or the Japanese to French release. So the French release was darker than the Japanese release, right? So here's the Japanese release of Moomin. That's what it looks like. You know? Kind of cute looking, right? Kind of cute looking. This is the French release. <laughs> the French release is... Or Finnish, sorry, Finnish, not French, Finnish. That is fucking scary. <laughs> that <is> fucking scary. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Yeah, apparently in uh in the Finnish uh, Moomin release, everything was way darker for some reason, so you got scary shit like this. Oh my god. The finish release. Jesus Christ. Never sleeping again. It's it's so powerful. It's so good. Oh god, I've never actually watched anything related to Moomin, but Does he know? God, I can't stop staring at that thing. I can't stop I can't not think that every time I'll get Ojam's face. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, um. But Sizzle hit all of it. Oh no. Of course everyone is hallucinating. Oh my god, they all cast Sazzle, all of them. Like the little dance? Oh, they're like, pain in the ass, if you ask me. Okay. There you go. Don't forget the cards. Yep, but I need healing. <laughs> All right, we carry on. Never watched Moomin, but I appreciate the way uh, they look a lot, little guys. Yeah? Uh, the exit's up there. Ugh. Let's see. Here, let's use them. Oh. Increase the amount of gold for the battle. Oh, she literally draws a co Oh, really? Okay. So it's random effects. That's her uh that's her ability. That's actually really cool. Okay. That's her. Yeah, actually. Had to get a lot of XP down here. Is level 10? Evac. 
get a lot of gold down here, too. Okay. Nine card effects, one of them is bad. I assume it's like Hanged Man or Death or something. Tower. Oh boy. It's Fool. Kills your whole party. Oh! Okay, that's bad. Ugh, who gave her the deck of many things? <laughs> yeah, actually, it really is a deck of many things, isn't it? The chance to draw it on the first draw is very small. Oh, does it increase the more you pull cards? Tower's a good effect, and the remix hits the enemy instead of you. Tingle? Oh. Oh, good night, son. I hope you sleep very well. Do me a small favor. What's up? You okay? Never let someone have the deck of many things. It seems like a good way to kill your session. I had a lot of friends here once, but they're all dead now. It's about time I left this town, I think. But the second video I sent you. Oh my god, what's this? Is it gonna do a thing fit? What's this? Hey guys, check this out. Oh. Hey, what do you do? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Oh God, I accidentally pulled up on the thingy. It's, it's, it's the fucking guy flipping lemonade. <laughs> the goblin wearing the black morph suit and the white mask jumps out. Yeah, oh. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright. Oh, deck of many things, don't you fuck me. Fun idea. Ojan is asleep. Oh, that's not good. Feed me Seymour looking ass. <laughs> Maya is not affected from casting spells. Fantastic! Mina's the one I need to cast spells with. Okay, um. Yeah, that works. Uh... Ugh. Pain. God, these enemies are fast, too. I can't make headway. The orphan cannon? Oh, God. How did Jam use the deck of many things in game I was playing without context? Basically killing my character wasn't too happy about that. Honestly, I the deck of many things is a very unique, really interesting uh, item. But at the same time, uh, at the same time, I would never want that actually in a campaign. It's it's a cool idea, don't get me wrong, but that destroys campaigns, like legitimately ends them for everyone. I wouldn't want anybody to use it. Like nobody likes pulling a card lol your character is deleted. Uh, don't kill Ojan, please. That really suck. Okay. 
Uh, right. Right. These enemies are absolutely fucking me up. There we go. Ugh. Probably on your end, Zon. Probably on your end. Uh. Shit. I believe. Uh, oh, that's why we have this. That's why we have evac. We know that after we murdered our poor, poor father, Balsack was selling his soul. But this does not tell us where he is. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'll be 100% honest. What the fuck was the name of the port town I was in? Havre de Leon? Yes! Okay. Does this place have a weapon? I don't think there are weapons. Oh, there is! All the way over here. Cool. Uh, what do I got? Holy Lance. That's really good. Poison Needle. Ah, uh, it's good, but I really don't want to run it this game. Was a moth knife though, I could get that. Uh, yeah, let's holy lance on Mina. Yeah, there we go. You go to Italy in DQ4? I don't know. We had Italy in the second game, kind of. Uh, the silver tarot cards. They're really funny, but I don't think I'll ever actually use them. Uh, still the Hunter's Bow, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Poison Knife Instant Kill, I do very much remember that. Is there a church here? Yes! What's the Arizona de Leon? Oh, no, that's the... I Wish Resurrection was first. Okay, same again. Yep, I do intend to continue. Please and thank you. Uh, can you revive our uh, our friend? Who was standing alone in a cave? He's only 10 gold on revive? Okay. Is he considered level one? That's really funny. I know he's not level one, but finances wise, I think he's considered a level one. <laughs> oh man. Any cares of a question mark are super cheap to revive. Ah. Oh no. That's the metal slime killer. Poison Needle is the Poison Dagger. Ah, uh, I had a feeling. I wonder what riding up my boat's like. Never had experience with traveling over water. Uh, how much is it to buy that, uh, that other weapon again? The Poison Moth Knife is 750. Uh, I really want to sell? Not... Okay. Honestly, I feel like flat damage is a bit better. Like, the insta-kill knife was a nice idea in the previous game. But in all honesty, it screwed me more than it actually helped. Because I just have one person not doing damage every turn. And then occasionally it would insta kill somebody. I just have one person just never doing damage. Yeah, that was kind of a problem. I wound up leaving them with it though because I needed the leveling that far out in the game. 
Wish I was sitting in that deep, deep cave waiting for my wound seal. Ah, but never mind. We must find out where Balzac is lurking. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, poison moth knife I want. How much money do we have again? Goodness, the stink is so bad. At 470. <laughs> Okay. Well, the mage, I wanted to have a weapon during the period, uh... Uh, I wanted the period during, uh... Where I was at to conserve their, uh, ammo anyways. So I didn't really want the mage to cast too much magic. I wound up using all that magic for that final boss, too. Shit. Like, all of it. Okay, let's try this again. Got a bit of a better weapon for one of them. And we are leveling up, so I mean, that's something. Something, if anything. Ugh, snooze. Fell into an even deeper sleep. Really? Oh, these guys suck. Oh my god. It's clown fiesta of a fight. <laughs> hey, Swayze. Good evening. Alright. Heal. And heal. Oh, is that the powder keg? That's it? Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna use that to make a big noise. You here for gunpowder, is it? Should be a keg in that chest, I reckon. It's all yours if you want it. Won't do you much good, though. It's too damp to do anything other than make a loud bang. I can unearth monsters, I can hit gas, but until I find gold, I'm not shifting. Alright, cool. Get out of here. Why does the second run of every dungeon I go into always just go so much nicer? <laughs> Compared to my first run. I, I know it's because I'm leveling up, it's just Jesus. Was it that easy? It was that easy, I guess. Hey, Neo Lover, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome to the Null Patrol, and they're freezing. Okay, I got it this time. I got it this time. I'm not afraid of this slime. I really should have had her cast a spell. I did not mean to. Wait. I think we actually got this just by bashing it. Okay. King Slime dethroned. He's not exploring side passages. Well, that too. That and I didn't get... I didn't get the spawn that fucking disables me constantly. <laughs> so that was nice. Door's locked, but... Lockpick. Okay. So... Where do I actually use this thing, I wonder? Not actually sure where to use this thing. Uh, the chance where you could probably find out where it was if you followed him. I wouldn't like to be the one to do it if I'm giving my idea. Uh, okay. Moi, I'm the chancellor of this castle. You are my personal trip. If you do not leave the top suite, I will have you locked up in jail. Scare? Scare him? What are you trying to use? I have a powder keg. Is there anywhere else I could use it? Is this area? Is a matter of most strange feeling? I can hear voices coming from under my feet. Yeah, 
Yeah, somebody told me to use the powder keg to startle somebody, and this is the only guy I can think about. Oh no, you seem evil. You're a chancellor, that means by default you're probably evil. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then you gotta follow him like that one guy said. Oh. Oh, like legitimately follow him. Okay. Then our birthdays were so close. Well, hello, Adi. When's your birthday again? <laughs> oh, this is. So we've found Balzac, and now we'll be finally avenging our father's death. Oh, just just like that? Do we want to like? L let's like rest at an inn, <laughs> and then we'll let's let's like. Okay, wow, that was fast. All right. Uh, let's go. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's go, um... Yeah, first sleep, then revenge. Yeah, we know where he is now. Oh, man. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. They're making zoomers. Yeah, no. But, you know, XP doesn't hurt. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Welcome to our in-weary travelers. All right. Whatever you say. Do not be one about forever. We should be going to the Marquis de Allen's castle. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Tell me I've got to do the thing again. Oh, I do. Okay. All right, sure. Got it. Okay. Nervous about being on stream? Oh, don't be. Just playing with friends. You're not streaming or you're not streaming either, so you don't got much to worry about. It's fine. There we go. Three people, what are you doing in here? If you do not depart a immediately, you will find yourself in trouble in most serio. Serio? Serio? Tarot card, those good? Ah, oh, they can be. Thing I have not used yet. Where is it? The lamp that summons nightfall. Oh, that's really helpful. A sneaky sphere conceal an enemy spells during battle. I actually done anything with that. If that's a mic, she probably can't do too much damage. Outside of well, she doesn't need to be healing. I mean. Uh. Okay. Hey, Balzac. Uh, As a beautiful daughter, of my poor teacher Mahabala. What, you seek vengeance for your father against moi, the great ball sack? Your father was an imbecile. He did not even know what he had discovered. The secret of evolution. Oh, quoi dommage, if I had only realized its powers, it could have ruled of the whole world. Now you'll see for yourselves my tour de force evolution without limitation. Okay. Oh. Noted. Hmm. 
Christmas tingle. Really anything I can do outside of attacking with you. Sap. Okay. Sap again. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Really need to heal now. Really, really need to heal. Damn, Ojem. I've really got to use that thing. Uh, that thingy thing. Ugh. Balzag is unable to cast spells. Alright. Heal. Sap him again. Another crit! Oh, can't hit him again. Okay, cool. My, uh... Frizz... Oh! Really? than a ZOE. Oh, that's fine. Hey! Wow, that really wasn't bad at all. Shit, okay. Wow, avenging dad was pretty damn easy. <laughs> okay. Oh no, he's kinda hot. He's also six feet under. Bang! Nice. By the way, he also knows full heal. Sealing him is sort of required. Oh, really? Shit. Fool Balzac should not have let your guard down. Survival is only of the fittest. Oh! That is why I cannot trust you with this place. Lord Sorrow would never permit it. Ah. Marquis de Leon, I was merely pleased to mention this to Lord Sorrow. I have no intention of seeing you dead for now. Oh, that was the guy that was supposed to be in the tournament, huh? Alora must introduce myself to the daughter of Mahalabra. It's me who one who you must engage in combat. BN, on guard! Okay. So that's kind of a problem. Does anyone need healing? Okay, that's a problem. Uh, I feel as if I am either very underleveled or yeah, this isn't happening. <laughs> this isn't. Yeah, no. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> ahem. 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 Ah, you've regained consciousness. You're Mr. Mahabala's daughters, I believe. Mina and Maya, isn't it? Scripted fight? Yeah. We're gonna ignore O-Jam seeing he's, uh, optional, aren't we? <gasps> Ooh! Yay. Hey. I'm the former king of this land. My people, him, all believe that I'm dead. I mean, he just fought as my son, but, well, he's bargained away his soul to a terrible force, and he's behaving strangely now. You cannot hope to defeat him yet. You're not powerful enough. Lead the slam while you still can and build up your strength. Set sail away from here. There's an unused boarding pass through the hull. Go on and take it. I promise we will return one day to help restore my kingdom to my former noble status. He did say it was all right. The text kind of just has a stroke sometimes. Ah! For being optional, he sure seems handy. Yup! I think Healy was also optional, but how could you not take Healy? How did you get out of here? Oof, the guard Wallace spotted us. We're in big trouble now. <gasps> oh, Jim! 
Prisoner escape guards, get Zim. Oh, you badass. You absolute badass. Oh, Jim! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Jim! <laughs> oh, Jim sure got us out of that jam. Damn. God, the town theme talk about tonal whiplash. Yeah, just a bit. If you level a lot, you can give it a good attempt, but the boss just ups his game and hits even harder. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Why do you only stay to prison instead of kill you? I don't know. I don't know. Pro tags. We get we get that pro tag, uh, you know, barrier. You know, minus Ojam, he probably just fucking died. But you know, let's let's hope he didn't. Just because he's off- if he's off screen, that doesn't mean he's dead. You got a boarding pass, have you? Right, I'll board them. We'll be set on sail shortly. Yeah. Okay. Let's raid the boat. We'll be setting sail shortly, so if you'll kindly go down to the cabins, please. We saw no body. Search the boats. I'm searching the boats. Lots of nautical charts. The corners of them are bent to crease if they've been very well used. I heard someone trying to bump off the Marquis de Leon. I don't know who it is, but that's heavy, man. Heavy. <laughs> I have a friend by the name of Mr. Taloon who's finally opened up a shop in Endor. I'm on my way to congratulate him. Yeah? Oh, actually, yeah. Imprisoning the Chosen is way smarter than killing them. Because if you kill them, they'll just come back. Uh, sailing to Endor at last. I wonder what kind of place it is. Oh, I can't wait. Everybody loves Taloon, so I've noticed. Yeah, Loaf has the mustache growth passive. Nothing special in here. Mademoiselle, do not know what events you have experienced in this land, but do not despair. There are those on board more fortunate than you and those who are less. A wall has the life. The joy de vivre must be in us all. Susie, Susie, Susie! No! Sh there are plenty more fish in the sea, better ones too where you're going. But why? She turned him down. <laughs> Damn. Poor guy. I'm not going to tell Jack yet. I can't. He couldn't cope with the pain. He needs to be older before he can understand. I'm Jack. We came all this way to see Dad, but Jill says we have to go home already. Oh. Not that. I think I, I think I explored the whole boat. I think there's much left. The skeleton in the swamp outside the mine are those kids' father. The note he was holding was from the daughter telling him they were coming to visit and that they were excited to meet him. Oh! This game's music is so happy. Sailing to Endor at last. I wonder what kind of place is. Oh, I cannot wait. This series has a lot of really fucked up shit in it, and then it's just got really happy music. Do we just, like, sleep on the bed or what? Hey, uh... Cabins are down below deck. Alright. Ah. Oof. Ah! Talk to the captain? Alright, talk to the captain. There'll be no way of coming back. Make sure you've got no regrets. Are you sure you want to go on your way? I don't... I think I... I think I forgot anything. Was, it, was I supposed to, like, find something on the ship? Somewhere? Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da -bum. Break all the barrels, did I not? Blech! No, I didn't. I didn't see them. Damn you, 3D space. Okay, out we go, I guess.
Right then, all hands on deck, anchors away! 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 How can I be sad if I'm too busy zooting? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 3D CG Shep, how dare you? When you complete a chapter, the characters will lose all their gold but not their items. That's annoying. <gasps> oh my. Land ahoy, pull into Endor Harbor and cast anchor. And so Mina and Maya were forced to leave the place they'd come to call home with their mission of revenge still incomplete. What was the force of light they had been told would come to their aid? Their adventures now begin anew as they set off to discover the mystery of the light in this strange new land. Oh wow, it's over already? Oh, their chapter was short. Okay. Wow. Alright. Her chapter was a lot shorter than the past two. Short but pretty strong. It was a good chapter, yeah, but it was short. Save the story so far. Short but much harder in comparison. I'd say the hardest was probably chapter two, honestly, because of the tournament section. The Chosen. Far to the east of Endor, nestled deep in the mountains, lies a little hamlet with no name. Its inhabitants once lived in solitude, never venturing outside, never welcoming outsiders. In fact, but for the village themselves, the world was oblivious to the very existence of this settlement. Until one day... <laughs> Yay! It's Rofu! Finally! There, all done. It's him! Finally! Be good child, Rofu, and deliver this packed its lunch to your father. Fishing at the lake again. Rofu receives the packed lunch for their father. And don't forget your manners on the way. If you meet anyone, remember to greet them politely, just as I told you to. We, yeah, we were trying to bait on what to name uh, our pro tag here because we couldn't enter anything but Japanese text, and it was either uh, Rofu or. Um, uh, oh god, what was it? Pan. Wow. Yeah, the male protag is the heroine, the female protag is the hero. I don't know what that means, but I'm waiting for it. Hey! Beeben! Hey! Good evening! How you doing? I just got to the main character of this game. Good evening, how you doing, Beeb? Good morning, Rofu. Did you know how wonderful it feels just lying here on all these flowers? Hope we stay like this forever. Even when we get older, I hope we never change. We still have been having these dreams that we grow old together right here in this beautiful village of ours. I love it here and I love being with you. Oh, say we'll be together always, Rofu. That's all I want. Oh, we have a relationship already? Ah! Hey, good evening. How was your stream? It's good seeing ya. This is when there's a button that changes the alphabet. Yeah, it wasn't there. It was actually due to a bug while it was in Japanese. Oh, you're playing, uh, you're definitely playing the remake, aren't you? Definitely gonna die? Don't say that. I was thinking it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't think it. RE4 remake's kicking my ass. Yeah, it's a bit rough. Hello, Rofu. You're enjoying a stroll, I see. Indeed, it's fine weather for it. I have been madly addicted to Dragon Quest. And I just finally got to the pro tag of the fourth game after playing for, like... How long? Like 13 hours? <laughs> it's so good though? Yeah, it is. Oh, hi Sephiroth. Well, well, we never would have expected to find a yeoman like you in a tiny village like this. I'm a poet. I was traveling in the mountains and I got lost and ended up here. I have no idea this place even existed. Interesting. Most interesting. Love Dragon Quest. I've been really getting into it. I've been really liking it so far. It seems one of the brothers offered lodgings to a lost poet. Suppose he felt duty-bound to help a person in need, but... Right. There's nothing in here. So now everybody gets to be AI-controlled. Let's see how well that goes. Somebody told me the AI is actually pretty good in Dragon Quest IV. 
the uh, the remake anyways. Today I was planning to teach you how to perform the zap spell. But you look hungry, you cannot wear magic on an empty stomach. Oh. Alright. Hey. Hiya. Your concentration lapsed, Rofu. Training for the sword is not easy, you see. Did you just strike at me? The AI control is even good on the NES. At least I never had issues. Uh, who is the character that, um, had the problem of repeatedly spamming whack? And, like, multi phase boss fights would colossally fuck his AI? Kirill! Yes, Kirill! Hello, Rofu. What are you doing in the village storehouse? Oh. Sorry about that. No, oh, man. You're leaving your party on autopilot for the first time in your replay of 11. They're actually pretty darn good. Huh. We shall have something to eat ourselves just as soon as you've delivered your father's lunch. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Is that again? Talk to Ella. Ella, the human, I love being with you. Uh. Okay. This is the village entrance. I'm staying guarded to ensure unwelcome visitors do not breach our borders. You wish to leave the village? Sure. The time is not right. You are still weak. Uh. Okay, where's Dad? Oh! I walked by him, like, three times. A peaceful village that keeps itself hidden out here where nothing bad could possibly happen and our, our, ch our like, lover is laying in the flowers just enjoying life and how nice life is and how we'll always be together. Everything's fine! Everything's fine! I want to talk to you now that you're in your 18th year. You shan't be... What, what is that? You shan't... Ah, damn it. So my y'all remember what your mother and I have taught you? Be honest and true. I have to read this game so fast. You shan't be a young woman much longer soon yet. <laughs> That's such a funny dialogue. You shan't be a young one anymore. You shall be a person. <laughs> That's... Soon you shall be a person. You're not a person when you're young. <laughs> you're just... <laughs> oh, they're not. Oh, those children now, they're not people anyway. <laughs> and would you like something to eat yourself? Yes. Sit down there, I'll bring something over for you. Quick, quick, they're here. No! The monsters have found us, they're just outside the village. Rofu, run away and hide at once. Don't worry about me, just go. Follow me, Rofu. No! I can fight! I can fight! Even if I'm not strong enough, I can fight! No! My lover since childhood! No! We said we'd always be together! We'll keep the monsters at bay for as long as we can. Take Rofu to the safe haven. Oh, Rofu, if anything were to <laughs> If anything were to happen to you, I... I... Just hide quickly. I'll join you in a moment. Why? Why in a moment? Just fucking come with me, Eliza. Why in a moment? Curse these monsters, they finally found where we've been hiding. Wait, hiding you? Why now of all times, just a little while longer, we could have made a great warrior out of you. Really? Follow me, Rofu. Oh, are you are you saying that I'm not a human child from my human parents with my big pointy fish ears? What are you saying? <laughs> The time has come, Rofu. Your destiny is upon you now. We have protected you from the truth until today, but now it has come to this. We are not your true parents. I wish I could explain everything to you, but there is no time. You must hide yourself at once. No! Hey, Hongo! Thank you! Well, and thank you, and thank you for the 41-month resum as well. I appreciate it. The monsters are attacking, then we must take up arms. How much did I miss? Our parents aren't our real parents. Everyone's gonna die. Listen well, Rofu. The monsters are here to take your life, for you are their nemesis. You have a secret power. You will one day be strong enough to defeat anyone or anything. No evil will overpower you. 
But for now, you are still weak. You must run, you must stay alive until you are strong enough to fulfill your destiny. Soon I am giving you this. I am giving you this and will prove it valuable to the quest you're about to embark upon. Big Book of Beasts? Remember, Rofu, just run away. Run away and make yourself strong. This is what you must do. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's, he's being killed, isn't he? Oh, no, she beat his ass. My dear Rofu, the time we spent together has been so much fun. But now I won't let them murder you. Oh! Oh, no. That's fucked up. Remember me always, Rofu. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, that's why they showed us that at the beginning of the game. Rofu hears monsters talking outside. Lord Psaro, the warrior Rofu has been eliminated. Excellent. You've done well. Rest assured that you'll be rewarded handsomely for this. We have nothing more to do here. We leave now. Oh, fuck. I, I, <laughs> I really didn't expect that, actually. Oh, shit. That's fucked up. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. Man. That's that's actually really clever, but holy shit. They even salted the earth with poison. Feathered cat. Oh no. Oh, they killed the mom? Oh my god, they killed everybody. They killed our parents, they killed our they killed our childhood sweetheart, they killed our mentor. Oh shit. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, that's messed up. I did not expect the thing with the morph. I thought that was just a cute gag in the beginning of the game. I didn't think they'd break my fucking heart with it. They even store a Fortnite V-Bucks card. Motherfucker. Yeah, Liza showed us at the beginning of the game that she could turn into a rabbit and turn into a uh, frog. And then she used that spell to turn into us so that when they murdered her, they would think the hunt for us is off. Yeesh. Okay, well... Can I just like throw you out into the uh into the rough here, huh? <laughs> Seed of life. There doesn't seem to be anything of note on the grave. <laughs> Who be you travelers are you? Well there's nothing to see, you're just an old woodcutter's cabin. You're looking so glum for anyways. I hate kids and grumpy ones are the worst. Why don't just get on down the mountain and annoy someone in town instead, eh? There's a castle just southeast of here. Hold up. Do you think you're going in your state? How do you think you're going to survive? Tell you what, there's some stuff in them pots through there. Take what you want and scram. I'll take everything of yours. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just a little heartbroken that everyone I know and love is dead. Instantly. It's not even like a regular JRPG where there's some, like, dashing hero who saves me and then drags me away to somewhere. No, everyone's just fucking dead. I'm just gonna leave town with nothing. For being an asshole, he's a pretty nice guy. I think he understands. <laughs> Wait, can I not wear the feathered cap? Are you serious? Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. Alright. Get the leather armor. Uh, use this. Okay. He's a little bitter, but he cares. Yeah. Use the seat of strength. 
And alright. Yeah, I figured I could either sell it or just give it to somebody else. Regardless, that's good. But it's Eliza's feathered cap. Did Eliza have... Is that what we're going with? Okay. Hey. We're traveling the world to find the monster of all monsters and wipe him out. Do you want to join us? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Looks like our party's full. You'll have to find your own group of people to travel with. <laughs> they really say we have four party members you can't join us? Oh, they actually leave town. It's really funny. This is Casabranca Castle. What I like to buy. I could buy a decent weapon. Yeah, why did you ask, you know? Fucking club, copper sword, divine dagger, hunter's bow. Soldier, priest, jester, merchant. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. <laughs> oh, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, they were a Dragon Quest 3 party, weren't they? I didn't even catch that. Welcome to the item shop. You can travel all the way to Endor in the west now thanks to the tunnel that Tornico chat built. Thanks, Tornico. It's such a shame for that poor fellow Tornico. Monsters are hunting him down just because he built a tunnel to connect. <laughs> He's being chased by monsters. Poor Tornico. Hey, thank you, Dog Warrior. Thank you, thank you. Smashes the 3, 4, 8, 11, and 1 pro tags. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember when they got announced ages ago and I had no idea who the fuck any of these people were. Yeah, I'll take these. Would like to sell anything else? Yeah, I'll take those. Uh, how much is the uh, thing for again? 210 gold. It's not bad, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it for just a moment. The game's split into chapters, it makes the world seem really big. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, let me save at the church, please and thank you. Alright. Alright. Ah. Some spears leaning up against the wall. Can I have them? Steal everything else. King Humphrey, welcome to my castle, aspiring warrior. No doubt you're another one out to save the world. Yorofu, that's a nice strong name. Now let me tell you what's required of you. It's imperative that the Lord of the Underworld is prevented from reawakening. So I'd like you to travel the world to collect as much information as you can about him. You're going to play an important part in stopping this tyrant, Rofu. I'm counting on you. Are you with those other four chaps who were here earlier? There have been an awful lot of people coming to see His Majesty lately with proposals of how to get rid of monsters. So now it's kind of starting like a, uh, almost like a regular Dragon Quest game. There's an old, old legend of an angel swooping down from the sky to the northern mountains. He fell in love with a young woodcutter and a beautiful baby was born to them. What happened to the baby? I have no idea. I'm sure it's just a fairy story anyway. Are we talking about the dwarf? Are we talking about the dwarf that lives, uh... That lives up north. He's the baby of an angel. Really? Cave here. Didn't know anyone's cave. You know, I haven't gone like... Oh wait, this is the tunnel! Hey. If you happen to cross fell by the name of Tornico Tulum, would you tell him I was asking after him? Okay. I haven't gone into a single fight. Welcome to Endor. Yeah, didn't Mina and Maya just come here? Princess Veronica and Prince Regan's wedding ceremony is happening over at the castle as we speak. We had a brief respite after the Endor Tormino, but now the monsters are back with a vengeance. I don't know what's behind it all. It's a funny old world we lived in, huh? Isn't it? Yeah, sure, I'll go see the wedding. We set up the wedding, we might as well go watch it. Okay, but where is the royal wedding? Uh, probably not here. Can we assemble our team? I hope so. Damn, if only we had that lockpick. 
Hello, Tarla. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, here. Ah! No, it's not. Uh... One of these errors? the call seem the royal wedding is taking place here ah i had a feeling because it's a big space you come to see the royal wedding have you just take the steps to the right up to the spectator's seats oh my be the longest wedding i've ever been to in my life <laughs> look at them kissing there i don't know now they got their arms around each other and everything marriage is the death of a man i tell you oh ladies as cold as ice these days please sir don't be drunk at a wedding but you're a big space. How dare you? You know, if the right person came along and proposed to me, I might just... Well, if it happened, thus I can only be the will of the goddess, I might just... What did she say? I might just... Well, if it happened, I can only be the will of the goddess, I might just have to give up the life of the cloth, I suppose. <laughs> My wife was a beautiful young thing when I married her. Ah, those were the days. Ah. Oh, those are the two kings of both nations. Oh, well, wish I was the one getting married. Can't beat a good wedding. But bully for Prince Regan, the princess was an idol of us sailors first, you know. Yeah? I have to, like, actually sit here and watch the wedding, or... The twins get their revenge? Not quite. Oh, the smoochin'. Does it really just loop them smooching? <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the twins they they defeated who they were going for, but then an even bigger demon showed up—the one the man sold his soul to from hell—and then they had to flee the country after they got defeated. So yeah, it didn't go so well for them. They've got to be in town. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. <laughs> That's it. they got to be in town. It's amazing. This girl's fortune telling is absolutely spot on. You should have your soul. Would you like me to be reading your palm or something for just 10 gold coins? Okay. Very, are, very good friend. I'm seeing seven. No, yes, seven. Seven lights surrounding you. Now, they're only teeny weeny specks, but hope they'll be very, very much bigger. It can't be. You must be the legendary warrior. Me and my sister have been looking for you since so long ago. You have the power to defeat the evil one. We almost join forces together. It's our destiny that we stand up against this dark, dark power. And there are others, you know, other people who the same destiny as us. Actually, we must all be meeting up and find the resurrection of the Lord of the Underworld. All right. Did she still take 10 gold from me? Ah. Well, let me move my robe a bit. It's getting a little hot in it. Seven, yeah, seven sparks. Does that mean seven party members? So, who is that all? Ragnar. Uh, Ragnar, Elena, the old man, Kirill, Mina, Maya, and Tornico. Yeah, that's seven! <gasps> oh no, Healy! Okay, let's go. My sister Maya will be gambling at the casino again and chasing away all our old, all the old uncles, I hope. Oh my god, Maya's spending all the money in the casino. Is that how we lose the money? Welcome to Rainbow's End Gold Bank, protecting your hard-earned gold from the likes of hunter monsters and criminals. So Tornado's running a bank. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, are they going to actually come up with a reason why everyone loses their money before they rejoin the party? Maya? Happy birth- Hey, thank you! Appreciate evil Zoe. Also, hello Mia lover! Oh my god, she's actually just hitting up the slots. 
Oof, leave me alone now, please. I was knowing you would be here, sis. Oh, dear goddess. <laughs> You're really unbelievable, you know, that I'm working so hard to make this gold, but now here you are putting <laughs> on me on the casino. Now we're broke. I'm so very sorry. Hey, who's this person with you, sis? This is Rofu, the warrior we've been looking for. <laughs> yes, it is, Dragon Death. Never. That's killing, sis. I won't be messing about anymore. I'll only do what Rofu tells me. <laughs> oh, shit, sis. I didn't gamble away all of our money. <laughs> hey, th yeah, thank you, Archimedes. Birthday, hey, thank you, Santa. <laughs> I hope you've been doing well, Kabeez. Yeah, th thank you very much, guys. I hope. Your new team member's possessions are placed in the bag. Alright, foresee that we travel east, we'll be finding something of significance. Alright, the first time my sister meets the chosen warrior, and it's a and it's a what? God, the auto scroll bug is so annoying. Oh my god, they're actually still level 11. Thank god for that. Alright. Uh okay. We got the bags currently. I thought. Oh no, they still have them. Let's use all of our seeds on uh, Rofu to uh, power him up a bit. Seeing as he's going to be behind. Okay. Go. Cool. Juice him up before he even levels up. Decent gear we can give them. No, we have literally nothing we can give Rofu. Alright. We do have money to rest in in. We can do that to give him all that free HP we got. Oh good, I'll unquestionably do whatever the stranger says now. Eh, she trusts her sister. He's the chosen one. They've been looking for him. Oh man. Welcome to Endor. Alright. Oh. oh, my face. Okay. I guess I could go back to that area that I was at before and check it out. Because I already know it's all over here. Uh... Ragnar is all the way in, uh, whatever it's called. Time to level up the kid? Yeah, let's level him up. Okay. <laughs> Easy as salad, I guess. We can go into the caves where Neko was, and that's probably going to give us some good levels. You have access to party member AI now. Oh, right! I should do that. I'm curious. Let me head into the cave first. I plan on playing Golden Sun Trilogy. I know really nothing about Golden Sun, and honestly, Dragon Quest is all on my mind right now. I'm reading the cards. They're telling us there's nothing in this cave we need. If you believe my words, we should be leaving this place right away. Are you not believing my fortune telling? This is hurting so, so much. I'm hating all caves with an equally burning passion. If we were here for a good reason, then it's okay, but if not, we should be leaving quick, quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, tactics? Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Watch my back, follow orders, focus on healing, show no mercy, fight wisely. Fight wisely? Okay, sure. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I'm curious. You patch party talk back in? Yes, I did. There's a little bit of a scrolling bug from time to time, but you can mostly just re-talk to people anyways. Oh, Tactics is in the menu now. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Cool and cool. for him. Yeah, I'm already really digging the party AI thing. That's kind of neat. 
Plus, I love seeing what AI companions do and seeing how their just individual quirks stick out, you know? Nightcasters. The NES version where you couldn't select each person's tactics, just the groups. Oh, so you couldn't tell, like, a healer to just heal. <laughs> Okay, you can stop that now. Kiespa! Oh! Ah, uh, Jesus! Hey! Thank you! Thank you for the $70, Kiespa! Gee, thank you very much! I appreciate it! Good lord! Thank you kindly! Oh my! I wish my thing showed me the message in the in the app, but it hates me. <laughs> Lost it. Takes its sweet ass time to load. But thank you very much, Kiaspa. Not thank you. Back for all the good times. It means a lot. Glad you enjoy enjoy your time enough here for that. Oh yeah, I heard about that cyber adventure with Kirill. Hope we get more on this through Twitch. Pets wasn't sure about the conversion rate shenanigans. I was keeping your horrid dorky himself. <laughs> Usually direct is always more than bits, but... <laughs> hey. Thank you very damn much. Favorite stream auntie? Oh lord, what is... Okay. Wisdom's kind of low. Uh, but Rofu does learn magic. Okay. You know, as much as I do like the idea of farming, I kind of just want to head to the next town. So why is the hero's name? Oh, it's in Katakana because, um... Uh... So when I, when I patched the game to include Party Talk... It glitched a few of the things back over into Japanese, even though this is an American copy. <laughs> so, um, the name entry screen, I could only uh, type in hiragana and katakana, so... Uh, yeah, here I am. <laughs> so instead of loaf, we did roof, so it would fit. I think I might just make it a habit of making the Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6 Pro Tags make their names Japanese. Yeah, it's only that one part is in Japanese, besides the look at top screen thing and like something else. Oh right, the appraisal ability is in Japanese, but not the actual like examination, just the name of the skill. Oh, Kispa, thank you for the five gift subs! Dear Lord, thank you! He's a rice ball now? That sounds cute, though. Hey, thank you, thank you! Very damn kind of you. They use the Party Talk Japanese patch? The English patch, I believe. Can I be offering you some kind words of advice, please, Rofu? My sister's a willful girl. Be firm with her, please. Do not be letting her always get things her own way. Okay. No, not 24 hours, but pretty long. We are going to have a pretty long stream. 24 hours, though? No. Hey, are there enemies out here? Because it doesn't feel like it. Oh! There they are. Oh, damn. Awesome subs because you helped chipping away my social life. I'm glad to hear. Honestly, it, uh, honestly, this whole stream and everything has made me a lot more social as well. Very, very much so. A whole yeen older? I you know, whoopee. Same as before. A little bit more crackly. Oh, I want to buy... Actually, the weapons aren't very good for Rofu, right? Yeah, no, not really. There's nothing here that I really want, but I do want to sell that cap, because nobody else here can really use it, so... I might as well just get rid of it. Okay. Bones getting old. My bones have always been old because of my EDS anyways. At least it feels like it. Hardwood headwear. Leather hats. A scale shield. I can use that. 
You can use the chainmail and the scale shield on Rofu. Okay. And scale shield. Okay. Now. Oh, I can almost get that hardwood headwear. Hold on. Uh. What's this? Oh, yeah, get rid of the old leather armor. Yeah, take it. I love that putting a log on your head is a genuine option. Hey, it works. Alright, got some de decent defense for Hero now. Oh, I just realized, is this the first game to give me more than four party members? That means I have to, like, actually choose who's going to be in the group, don't I? Ah, shit. I've got to, like, actually decide what's all going on. Okay. If it protects, it protects. Exactly. Bubble Slime didn't notice the party's presence. <laughs> Battle switching. Oh, hey. Nay. Hank Hoffman Jr. Want me to give you my wagon so you can carry on your journey to save the world? Sounds mighty fishy to me. You can't expect me to believe it's all... Whoops. It's all old tale like that. Never mind. I ain't a move for people right now. Get out of here, will ya? No. Pretty slow, ain't ya? Well, maybe I'll share a little story with you if you ain't budging. A long while back now, I was traveling around just like you are. And I heard talk of the world's most important treasure being hidden in some cave. A friend and I moseyed on in down in there to see what we could find. He's my best buddy, or so I thought, but then he went and stabbed me in the back. It makes me mad just thinking about it. I ain't never trusted no one again. Now get out of here. I think I just figured out where to go next. Now I'm in a pickle. I was hoping to borrow a rag across the desert, but that guy's a real hard nut. Real hard nut? Okay. Go. Yes, Jay. I've been going through them, actually been going through uh, the Dragon Quest games. I've been really liking them. They've been, like, really relaxing, actually. The desert stretches off in the distance as far as the eye can see. It'd be impossible to cross such a large expanse without a wagon. Okay! I know where to go now. Got it. I really like the AI system already. Okay. Learn Frizz. Okay. The battle theme went back to being bad again. Yeah, I don't know why Chapter 4 had a different battle theme and it was really good. You know, you know, what if it's continent based? Because chapters 1, 2, uh. 1, 2, and 3 are all on the same continent. 5 is also starting on the same continent, but 4 was on a different one. Yeah, I think it's region-based battle themes. I think I'm going to see an Eldritch Baguette on my blue sky. <laughs> oh my god. If you put Mina and Maya in the first two party slots, you can bring back their battle theme. What? Really? Hold on. Really? Line up. Mina, Maya, Hero. That is so cool! Really? Huh. That's... That's a really odd detail. Just them? Okay, I'm sorry. Who did that with their face? Mina? Hello? Can we talk about that just now? 
Mina? Mina? Okay. No, wait. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh, thank goodness you've come to rescue us. We've been waiting here for so long time, but we knew you'd be coming to find us sooner or later. They're fucking dorks. These two are fucking dorks. All right, yes, we've been waiting so long, a long time for you to fall into our trap. Oh my god. Eh. I don't think I can kill that by myself, actually. Poof! Shit! Hey, Stone Corbell, thank you for the 33 month resub. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Uh. Oh no, that's so bad. Briz. I think I'm dead actually. Uh -oh. Ugh. I have to go save them now, don't I? Shit. Oh, there! Oh, thank God! All right. Some shops, an inn, a church. And that is it. I'm sensing that my sister will not enjoy this place. <laughs> this is not a casino. They're both full HP. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the DS version. So, uh, I'm a bit weak. I'm a tad weak here. You can tell it's DS version because it's the top screen above my head. Uh, oh. Oh god. Damn! Okay. Sure. All right, Mina. This is definitely a case of like drag- Ow! Oh, I just hit my head with the headphones. This is definitely like, uh, Dragon Quest 3 where the hero just kind of sucks for a while. Oh, man. Hey, thank you, Avery Chicks. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just did something stupid. I was, like, trying to re- like, mess up with my- like, move my headphones. I whacked myself with it. Shit, maybe I do want that stronger weapon. Damn. Space while you bonk yourself? I'm not trying to, I swear. Bum, bu, 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 bum, bum. Okay. Yep, weapon shop, please, thank you. Let's buy a bow, because bows are pretty sick. I've, like, come to learn bows are just really good at Dragon Quest. Love the idea of making your protag and underdog goes from weaker to the best throughout the game. Oh, yeah, same. Dragon Quest 3 was really cathartic because you started getting, like, all the really strong passives from the first game. 
like uh, the constantly regenerating HP as you walked. <laughs> Three was really, really satisfying about that. Spacey bonking himself like Chad would hit themselves in DQ3. <laughs> no, I should have just rested at the end anyways. <laughs> also, I'm gonna change the party lineup again. Uh, no. I mean, uh, then my, uh, then Rofu. Okay. Alright, there are no bar, casino, in Casablanca. The people here must be so, so bored. <laughs> Man. I like how she loses once and then immediately goes into a gambling addiction. That's AoE. Poof seems like a really good spell, but it doesn't feel like it's going to hit often. That's sleep spell on the other hand. Wow. Just wait until she learns about Las Vegas. Oh god. I mean, the hero becoming the best at everything doesn't really make the rest of the party pointless, and I can tell you that for a fact because you will get your dick kicked in in the second and third games without your party members. I have come to know that. I can assure you it does not make the party worthless. Because, damn, do you need them. Action economy, baby, yup. Since coming to Endor, I've only spent time with my sister. It's nice to have a new friend, Rofu. Does the main hero in this gameplay catch up for the whole game? Well, we're already level or er, level six, and our teammates are level eleven. So I mean, eh, not really. It seems like they'll be that way the whole game. Alright. Mid oh, Rofu knows mid heal. Wow. Okay, that's good. That's really good to have, actually. Wow. Stellar. God, I st that's still so funny. Holy shit. Okay, now I think I should level Rofu up a little bit in here before I actually continue. It's like Summoner versus Wizard, you can only get to 6th level instead of ninth. That too. Ugh. Oh, there's no enemy encounters. I guess until, uh, yeah. Shit, let's heal on that. Well, he's got a better weapon now. We can try that again. That's still really funny. <laughs> it's a strong iron door being possible for one person to open it alone. Did they all just punch the wall? They totally did, didn't they? second round. I probably should have leveled him up more, but eh, we'll see how this goes. Better weapon, higher level. Yeah, maybe. That's still so bad. Oh, God. Hallucination, man. Ooh, I still hate that.
Oh wait, I'm good. I ran out of MP. Uh. Uh. Who's been taking this home? We're really needing your rescuing here. You were finding some monster looked like us upstairs. Are you crazy, please? Not if you don't get moving, we'll all be eaten alive. I was right, the muscles won't stump they sucked every last drop of blood out of you. Okay. All right. Remember that these are worse. I really shouldn't have cost mid heal. I didn't mean to. Damn, double click. Okay. She will. You can get us with the same shtick. <laughs> hey, Slushy Wolf, thank you very much for the re. The, not, not Risa, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you kindly. She's just pouring this weird looking yeet. Oh, wow. That was a lot. Of XP, actually. Okay. Uh, hello? Now what? <laughs> oh my god. Come to save us. We're, well, we're not so stupid anymore. I know you're just looking like Rofu and the others, but really, you're what? Oh no, wait, sis! I think they're really Rofu. I feel oh, they're about to beat the shit out of them. Uh, maybe okay. Then I'll ask you a question. Only Rofu would know the answer. Mina was the one spending all the money at the Endor Casino, right? It, it was Maya. Huh? It was an easy PC question, but I suppose you must be the real Rofu. Sorry, we doubt you, please. Just that we were attacked by so many monsters pretending to be you. We can't go on doubting you forever. I suppose we have to trust you. Okay, then. Let's go. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Alright. That's so funny, also. Yeah. And if you're knowing it's a fake, it's nice not to have to do battle with all these... God, I wish I could read these fast enough. Sorry to be asking, but are you, are you the real Rofu, please? Yes. No, please be ignore me. I believe you. I'll not be asking this silly billy question again. <laughs> hey, Zom Stonegazer. Welcome to the Null Patrol. Thank you for following. Hey, you're good. I hope long live the Yin. I hope I live long. Hey, have a good night, Jay. Oh wait, there was that door back there. That I just came out of, got it. I wonder if they would just beat the shit out of you if you got it wrong. What is this room? Uh... <laughs> If 
found the symbol of faith. Uh, I, I guess I can bring it to that. I guess I can bring it to that guy. <laughs> Okay. I got you, Jane. I appreciate it. My birthday scheme is a wonderful way to celebrate. I I couldn't think of really what I wanted to do, and I, I just basically sucked it up and said, like, hey, I've been really liking Dragon Quest lately. I'll just play more of that. Now we're finding the treasure. There's no more reason to be staying in this dingy cave. If we're hanging about, maybe more monsters are appearing. Monsters disguised as us. The symbol of faith can heal you in battle. Really? Okay. I have seen Shift Rack 64. I want to play it, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I know about it, though. It looks fun. I have no idea how the hell I've been already streaming for five hours. <laughs> Does not feel like that. Hey, Code and Graham, welcome to the Null Patrol. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you kindly for the follow. More flying booster things. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -da. Get it, ba -da. Oh man. Hey, what do you think for Dragon Quest VI? SNES or um or DS? What do you think? Go inside here. Oh no, a flying baguette, don't mind him. What do you want, huh? Minute six alive? What is that jewel you got there? SNES, SFC version for six. SNES, DS for five and six. I forgot there was an option. I forgot SNES was an option for six. Yes. But if we give Hank Hoffman Jr. the symbol of faith, you know it's kind of funny, but just looking at this here jewel makes me feel cleansed somehow. So where'd y'all find this thing? You kidding me? Well, ain't that something? You find a symbol of faith in the place my partner betrayed me. Hey, wait a honey fuggled minute. Maybe things would have been different if I believed in my partner that time. It could must be some kind of faith test in place to treasure up. Oh, I see. It sure was clueless, but now it's time to put it right. I'll start by trusting you. I want to join you folks on your journey, and my horse will be coming along too. Uh oh? There are a lot of party members in four. Like, a lot. Let's get you up on out of here. The bed you're now. Oh, good night, noisy one. Good night, good night. You have a good night. I'll catch you in the morning if you're still on. I probably will be. The horse's name is Mary Lou. She ain't no crow bait, but I'm sure you'll see her right. Crow bait. Hank, to my knowledge, is just the caravan driver. Yeah, he's probably just the pilot. Still, pretty cool. <laughs> oh, he's got a level. Well, he's got a, a character here. <laughs> oh. He looks too sweet. What does he do? What's your gear? I can't check his gear. I just realized that. Do you use magic? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> it's me, Goku! I was thinking it. Giddy up, girl. You always be the horse for me, Mary Lou. She's one heck of a horse, all right? And she ought to be out done train her good right from fold to Philly. All right. Out we go. That's the most Dragon Ball character portrait I've seen. Out of everybody here, yeah, Hoffman looks like he's right out of Dragon Ball. Food gained another level. 
<laughs> Zoom. My king wears a fish crown. Yeah? Ugh. Hey, thank you, flying puppy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweaty Yeti. Well, he is in the desert. Holy shit, Hoffman. Okay. Mina gained a level. Birds are coming, please. Boom. Honestly, Dragon Quest IV has been really damn fun. Also, I love this idea of just having the caravan. Get his ass. No! God! Damn you! <laughs> Get him. Ah! Every fucking game I'm tortured by that face. Every- that smile, that- what is this area? Ah. Okay, I- Is this place just slime? Okay, yeah, that- alright. Okay, yep, yeah, alright. This is my time to suffer, got it. Uh... Beautifully noted. Hoffman musters their strength. Oh, they've got self buff. It's taunting you. Man, I fucking hate the slimes. I'm so tempted to make an emote that's just a metal slime that vanishes the instant you post it. And is just gone forever. I managed to kill three of my Dragon Quest XI playthroughs so far, it's been 27 hours. <laughs> Holy shit. So it never gets better, does it? Alright. Oh, man. Animated slime of like 900 frames, but only one frame of the slime. That's what I was thinking, yeah, because Twitch will loop it. Welcome to Bath, Town of Baths, the perfect place for travelers to rest their achy bones. Okay. Slime was ain't gonna catch me lacking again. Holy shit. Alright. Zoomed in on its happy stare and the entire remote just vanishes. I'm so fucking sick of them. Uh must have quite a thirst coming to this pub at this time in the afternoon, eh? Take care of my dad, so I better show him I don't ignore him all the time. I say the bath waters here make your skin clean and beautiful. But I really don't think I could get any cleaner or more beautiful. Oh dear, what's a poor girl to do? Is already metal slime energy? God. Oh man. What you do to the place, sorry? Well, I was about to give you all the grand tour then, eh? Nah. Alright then, suit yourselves. By the way, the other end's a rip-off. Oh? There's two ends. Oh, there is. What the fuck? I robbed him. Winnie Loaf Metal Slime. Oh. Go far enough south from here and you come to a ship in town called Force of Trunnel. So the ships leave to go from the four place your travelers are always galvanting off to. Hey, crazy child, thank you for following. Welcome to the Nopa Show, I hope you enjoy your stay. I feel ten years younger, it was my son that brought me here. A lucky fellow to have such a caring lad to look after me. I'm terrified that that just showed up again. I took the guy to tour to see the famous ball to his arm, but it didn't look like anything special to me. If I just like some cheap substitute. I'd be surprised if someone had stolen the real arm or replaced it with that rubbish in its place. 
Oh, but a brave knight of old clad in armor would gleam like gold in battle. You was knocked out cold. No, he's no good neither. I've been trying to make him a song about Bladen, but it's not going all well. Hmm. Is everyone shagging me if I was finally able to farm some vagabonds and like a dragon? With the... The Dragon Quest advice? Alright. see the strength on Rofu again. Go. Cool. Oh, man. There we go. What we got for weapons, eh? The Holy Lance, which is not better than anything we got here. I can use an Iron Lance. Uh, okay. Give that to Rofu. Please reorganize, thank you. Whip. Alright. Suggested guns and multi-hit attacks. Oh yeah, multi-hit's definitely a godsend. Uh, nothing better for Mina and Maya here. Well, besides that iron shield, but... Right, I want that iron armor. I can sell that hunter's book. Bow. Okay. I think we have anything really in the bag that's worth selling. Oh, well, there's a few things, I guess. Let's have the copper sword. Let's have a leather hat. Hey, thank you, Arthur Anonymous. Thank you, thank you. Sell anything else? No. And how much was that armor again? 1,000 something? 200? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit to get that armor. I could always grind a little bit. I am no fan of these natural spring baths. The water smells so, so, so eggy. Smell like eggs? This should have been selfie. I had one of those spring bath doohickeys back home. Folks have been flocking to my paws in from all over. <laughs> So walk around a bit. Probably smells like sulfur. Does sulfur smell like eggs? Okay. Pyranodon. Yeah, we're fine. Get a lot of eggs. Raw eggs smell like sulfur. Huh. I had no idea. Not that I ever would, but, you know, regardless. You have a lot of gold. So much gold. So much money. I'll have the armor in no time. Ugh! God, I'm loving the vibes of 4 so far. Also, it's nice to know that I'm gonna, like, stick with this character now. Oh, man. I wonder if the Russian trio will join all at once. I really, really want uh, the princess back in the party to be uh, my second melee. Oh, but that means I've got two healers and two mages. I need to, like, actually see what they all do then. Bum, 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 bum. Hoffman is a cutie. Yeah, I love his portrait. Elena's probably my favorite in this one. Yeah? Oh, man. Yeah, I do want to put her in the party. She seems like she'll be a lot of fun. I've been assuming Elena's friends would be showing up. They said seven stars would, were surrounding us. And if you count all the party members from the previous chapters, that's seven. So, I mean, uh, it's a possibility. Hey, thank you, Zoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know who you met by the Russian trio. My mom went to Don Bluth Anastasia. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. Iron armor. Equip that. Yeah, let me 
sell the uh, the old armor I had. Chainmail. Didn't use that to buy the iron shield. Which I am short of, actually. Okay, beat up some more things. You can never be too careful about having good enough defense. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Plus, the enemies here just give a lot of money, and Hoffman is a really good temporary party member. Imminent Wealth on Friday? Is that what it comes out? They, they were like, send me a box. <laughs> it didn't actually say when that shows up, so I'm waiting. Oh, man. Does it come out on Friday? God, I still haven't played Dragon Quest Like a Dragon at all. I need to. The pain of playing a Dragon Quest Like game when I've got so much Dragon Quest to play. The pain. That is so good. Bang feels like it's a way better spell in this game. Actually, magic just feels better, period. Like, in general, magic feels really good. That's just a backlog. It's a really good backlog. I've been having a lot of fun with Dragon Quest. Just played the preceding seven games in the series. It's not like eight, nine, if you, if you count that zombie one. Oh god. Of oh, seven before seven? Oh, I thought we were talking about eight. How many are we at? Oh god, I've got the samurai one. Oh wait, Drifter Clops, thank you for the raid. Hello, good evening. Each mob would understand the problem of why would I do that when I could be playing Dragon Quest? <laughs> oh man. Just PSP ones? Or the mobile ones? Yeah? Oh, thank you, Brave. I don't know about those. So I got... Oh yeah, the Fist of the North Star spin-off one. I actually played that a little bit. And I actually very, very much enjoyed it. Okay, what's up with this in at night? <laughs> it did say it was a rip-off, and it is. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Magic probably feels better in Dragon Quest 4 because you haven't hit 7 trillion element magic immunities like in 2 DQ3. It just felt like magic fucking missed a lot in 3. Compared to 2, magic like missed so much in, in 3. Feels like magic's really not missing that much yet. Okay. To you, but now let's sell what I've got. And also, I don't mind, I probably won't get her the shield too because her defense is fine already. There we go. Again, oh my, I hope golf with your friends went well. Happy belated vaginal expulsion day. Hey, thank you. Oh, hello again. <laughs> hello, the Raiders. I'm glad that's the first thing you heard when you came in. Good evening. Hope you're, uh, hope you're shooting well. Oh, that's what Hybrid House wishes a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. How'd your stream go? I am really enjoying Dragon Quest IV right now. Yeah, magic resistance in this in this series so far is if your magic resistance is higher, you miss. Ah. First time playing Lethal Company. Oh, nice. It gets fun. 
What's this? Welcome to Porf Trunnel. Okay. Hey, thank you, Zam. To play around sometime? I play a little bit with friends here and there. It's alright, I like it. It's a very goofy game. We found a village over the mountains north of Casabranca that got done over by monsters. Ransacked they was, and folk been disappearing over the sea in Zenovska and all. Dad? If you ask me, it's all time of that Lord of the Underworld come back to life. <laughs> Is it the ships, have you? They've been doing some building work in the yard. For that big building at the arbor. I was a cargo lugger of four. We ain't got nothing to lug now. Those ships are sailing. I'm all aboard. That's the church. And let's save. I do like the caravan is not just a party trip, but people actually gathered around a caravan. It's a really nice detail. Huge bodybuilder, shopkeeper. Yeah, there's a few of those. In three, their magic resistance. I think that's how it is in two as well. Maybe even one. But if the magic resistance is high, you fizzle. Instead of actually hitting them. And magic resistance is your chance of hitting. Ships are sick into the bottom of the ocean. Ah. Oh. It was only just a few days since that pharaoh's speaking got took over by monsters, you know. That horrible light's been shining out over the ocean ever since. Hey, thank you, Kara Suzume. Sus. Ah, Suzume. <laughs> I can speak. More of these. Okay. Hey. My ship sank almost as soon as I left the harbor, all because of these blasted monsters infesting the pharaohs speaking east of here. Well, I think I am going in that direction. They say there's some feller down south of the sea who's a wizard. What? Must be however rich, supposed to be a wizard of commerce. What minus slice of his cake, let me tell you. A wizard of commerce? I think I might know who that is. Next town over immediately has better weapons. Okay, I'm just going to go. All right, to the east it is. Something about a tower. Probably evil. Where tiger? Is is that just a guy in a fursuit? That that that's just a that's just a guy in a fursuit. Oh, he's a where tiger. As any oh, okay. All right, it's a fursuiter. Am I just beating up furries in the woods? Is, is that part of the plot? All right. Hey, she just murdered a fursuiter? He was coming right at me! It's a tiger! It's just like rain for- oh my god. Stop you. There we go. You booed it, booed it, booed it. All right. Magic heal. You. And you. Hey, you don't know that could just be a very nice suit. <laughs> oh! Oh! The boy! Hello there, I don't know who you are, but it's a fine time you've come at. I come here myself to get rid of that menacing evil flame that's burned at the top of the beacon. Only the monsters here are as tough as old boots, and I'm having trouble making my way up to the top. I know it's a bit of a tall order, but would you be willing to take over and get the job boxed off for me? Sure. Well, that's grand. It was a holy light burn at the top of the beacon here till recently, you see. I'm sure there must still be a few embers of left hereabouts somewhere. That's all you need to put out the evil flame that the monsters are burning up there now. You just need to find the embers. Okay, I'll figure it out. We'll meet up back at the port. <laughs> Goodbye, Torneco. Please come with me. Alright. Guess I'll go up. Oh! 
Okay. Love the fat man's design. That's Torn Echo. He's great. Really good character. Ugh. Well, that's a lot in. Don't mind them. I guess I don't want to extinguish those. I guess I just want to go up. There's an item up there, too. <gasps> oh, they're so cute! Oh, I have to stab you. Sorry about that. Oh, they're so cute. Poor bastards. Seed of strength! Alright. Alright. Rofu strength went up. It's sad we have to destroy them. The pain, really. Restless armor, kill him. Ah! Jesus, quiet. Alright. They're so cute, I have to stab them. Sums up Dragon Quest monsters. I see why they made the monster capture games now. Okay, I'm really scared these mini metals have started showing back up again. Okay. Ugh. Um, as somebody who primarily only has physical damage right now, my strategy is very simple. Uh, part of me, I try not to yawn so much. <laughs> Really, we can tell you how many you miss. No, I'm good. Oh, is there nowhere? Oh, I can drop down there. Sap? Oh, it's AoE Sap. How annoying you are. He has to worry what his strategy is. Whack! Coffee time? Yeah, maybe. Streaming for five and a half hours, I really don't feel like it. Why do I think every game is going to be different? It was different that one time in the third game, damn it. Okay. Ooh, hey, item up here. Wait, can I even get to that? No, I can't. We gotta drop down from above or something. Unless that's a hole. Time flies, you're having fun. Oh, I'm... Yay! Oh, I'm adoring Dragon Quest IV. Go. All right. Mina got a level. Aha. Perspective. Nice. Actually, I kind of might get that really good weapon now. I should probably go do that. <laughs> oh, man, funny enough. Yeah, I totally have enough to get the good shit now. Hey, Purple Gas, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on into the Null Patrol. Hope you enjoy your time. Find the big guns now? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. the name Null Patrol QE time. <laughs> yeah, it's like the hyenas in D&D. Cyclown. Okay. The enemies sure are getting punnier as the game goes on. Ugh. Put the 
No, I really should add alert command. I used to have one. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet? That's a scary thing to tell me. Alright. I'll just heal you. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I know, we were talking about that earlier, no. Actually, I'm the one who brought that up. <laughs> I love Mystery Dungeon. There's a hyena you can save in Baldur's Gate 3. He gets hired by the goblins, but they beat him because he's not that strong. And they're really mean to him, and he has a really soft voice. And you can free the hyena and save him. Because he's not very strong and he's small. Oh, what's this? What do you want? I was instructing this young lady in the teachings of the goddess. <laughs> Reckon he's right. Does someone like me really go on and serve the goddess? I ain't so sure I could. Oh, he was he was literal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he was serious. Okay. I thought that was um. Okay. Where is it? I need to save them. There's a video online, but I'm not sure where that. Oh well. Shipping me on. Okay. Hey, Torneco. How oh, she cut it? I was just gazing out of the ocean. You're dreaming like. I mean, ship will be long in the yard now, so I'm counting you to do your stuff now. Okay. Will the Yin join your camp? I think you just saved the hyena. Oh, there we go. What were you thinking when you read that? Uh, nothing. But yeah, there's some goblin camp you can find a hyena, and he has a very soft and a very shaky voice. And if you tell him that you'll save me, he's like, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. It's so sweet. Like, oh god, the baby. <laughs> the baby hyena. Alright. Steel broadsword. That's a good weapon. It's specifically another goblin gift because he specifically talks about goblins attacking him. Or goblins hitting him because he's too weak. I'd like to sell anything else. Okay. Got a soft spot for yeans? Of course I do, they're so misunderstood. The hyena is if you go through with the drider when starting Act 2. Ah! TR protects against... What is Fuddle again? Wait, is Fuddle the, um... Is Fuddle silence? Oh god, it would be better with that. I think... Nina. That's Confuse. Oh. Uh, stick that on Maya, then. Silence is fizzle. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, definitely stick that on Maya so she can't blow us up. Alright! Wait, are we healed? Yeah, I did rest. Okay. <laughs> Back out we go. Working at a hyena sanctuary. Oh, the poor things. They really are misunderstood, though. They are some of the sweetest, most intelligent animals in the old animal kingdom. <gasps> Yay! Sizz. First game with spells like this? Yeah, 1, 2, and 3 weren't like that, the translations I was playing. The SNES uh, direct translation. So 4 is uh, definitely taking some getting used to. They are very bitey. They won't bite you to death, they'll just kind of like nibble. Just kind of like... Ang, 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 ang. It's like play, it's like play nibbles. Hey, Billy the Ferret, thank you for the 10 month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay, let's try and go, uh, this is the wrong way. Let's go to a better stairs this time. <gasps> you. Get his ass. The horrifying realization when my AI companions are not going to join me in attacking another slime. Get him. Get him. No! Oh, damn it! Alright. Ugh. Alright. Take these instead. So less painful, I think. The fuck? Yeah, worth Torneco. I heard he was coming here, though I've been lying away for him. I was gonna leap out and smash his brains in. So you got scared and ran away, did he? Right, so I don't care about you. It's Torneco I'm after. So long, suckers. Oh. And ouch, he bumps his head on the ceiling. My head hurts. Oh, he's dead. It's like the mind mini demon knocked himself out. Okay, I'll just leave. Did I ever defeat a single one of these silly slimes? I did, yes. I can say I have defeated a few of them. Had to farm them for a while. I got a couple of them in two, I got a lot more of them in three. Oh my god. Mood? <laughs> so rude. You got any slimes in four yet? No. This tower is so dark, it's very smelly. Please listen to what we came to do and be leaving here without delay. Okay. Take you. Alright. Become more regular as a farm source in later games? Now, honestly, they are a farm source in these games. I was farming them in three. It's particularly the uh, metal baubles. this party cop, to be honest. It's gonna be really hard to decide who I actually want as, like, the main party, though. Can always take, like, uh, two melee, one healer, one mage. From the looks of it, I'm going to have two healers, two mages, that's worthless now, and uh, two melee, and then there's Torneco, who is considered melee, but he's more like utility, and then there's the healer. What if all healers? I mean, Hero's a healer, uh, Nina's a healer, and so is, um, oh my god. Why do I keep forgetting his name? Really like him too. Kirill, thank you. I keep thinking his name is Lyle. It's Kirill. Uh, okay. Maya, uh, yeah, the guy who spams whack. Yeah, him. This is concerning. 
Oh, that was easy. Got the holy embers. So there's something up here. Let me just, um... Okay... Fine, top him off. ka ka ka, -ka. Burn, burn, dark flame. Burn to make all the stupid human boats founder. Who are you? Is it really just a furry? Ah... Furry and his two pyromaniacs. Idiot humans coming up here. More fuel for the flames of darkness will toss in you and watch you burn. Okay. Tiger Graham. Like a telegram, but he's a. Okay. Understood. Damn, Mina! Okay, laughing's dead. Frozen in fear. Oh, I'm in fear. It's not good. Oh, am I the only one that's feared? Oh, there we go. Maya's affected Hoffman is frozen. No, okay. Just... There we go. Just me then? Oh. Good timing. There's a one-turn stun pretty common from here on out. Yeah? That's not too bad. Alright, that was painless. Alright, alright. Holy protection. I've noticed that, um... Hero in this is kind of learning abilities that are more unique. I mean, besides Zap, but that always felt like it came way later, you know? Alright. That's Repel. Oh, they changed the name of it. Okay. Painless, spacey, you're missing health? Eh, it's fine. It's like we done gone did it! We had quite a shooting match it was, too, huh? Not be forgetting Rofu, there's still something must be doing here. These puny and feeble monsters are being no match for me. Let us be living without delay, Ode. But are we not forgetting something? Yeah. Let's use the Holy Embers. Hey, Lionheart! Thank you for the 35 month resub! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Appreciate you tolerating a this long. Oh, we did see the Wear Tiger, yes! We did see it. A chunk of yourself out does not hurt. That's nah, fine. I could just cast mad. It's fine. Oh, damn. Feeble flame goes out and the holy light springs back to life. And I flashbanged everybody in the nearby city. There's items up here. Cool. Got a second one. Cool. Bonfire lit. Really, though? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just leave. 
Glad I stopped to pick that up. Uh, I'm on the top of the building, so can I just... Yep! And the Dragon Warrior said, let there be lights. The Dragon Warrior. Such a cool title. What do you sell? Anything that I can use? No, not really. Okay. Hey, Tornico! Yeah, it's just a grand job you've done, so it is. Look how nicely all the ships now you put the flame out by yourselves. The your own ship's all boxed off now as well, you know. I'm as happy as Larry, so I am. Actually, though, I have a bit of a favor to be asking. It seems I made a few enemies among the monsters, and they're after me, like... So I was thinking if I could maybe travel along with a few tough articles like yourselves, I'd feel a lot more secure altogether. Yes, you may always join us. Yes. Oh my god, why would you ever turn them down? Yes, please. Oh, that's grand. Right then, are we all fit? What's that, your wagon? Hey, of course you can. There's plenty of room on me ship for a wagon. Let's be making tracks. <gasps> Tornico! Okay, sorry, you're gone, Hoffman. We're keeping your horse, though. Your new team member's possessions are placed in the bag. Time to sail for all the unexplored lands and forgettable little islands in the world. Oh shit, is Hoffman still with us? Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Ah. We're going on a dragon quest. Actually, I don't know if there's a dragon this time, but we are on a quest. We should be heading south first. There's a town down there by the name of Mintos. They say there's a... Uh, what about Amazon in the world? Okay. Here we go. Ah. Uh. Wonder, how does this work? Uh, oh wow, I get a lot of party slots. Oh wow, okay. Uh, Tornico is probably the worst at fighting. Is he tanky? Uh, a little bit more than Maya. All right. Yeah, everybody else stays on the thing. That's cool. Back from yelling very loudly at a video game. Happy birthday, how you doing? Doing good, playing Dragon Quest. Yeah, I think I know this place. Well, I surely do know it. This here's Mintos, and Mintos home of the infamous Conrad Hilton. Like, the Hilton? Folks call him the god of trade, you know. GM, this may come a bit sudden for y'all, but, you know, I've had a hog kill in time traveling around you five people. For all that, I'll always be mighty thankful. But it's my dream to follow in my daddy, Hank Hoffman Sr.'s footsteps and open up a fine inn of my own. Minto summed to the god of trade, Comrade Edson, his high sigh, and that's for sure. He find his cream gravy if I could learn a thing or two from him. I know it's a mite selfish of me and all, but I gotta ask you anyways, Rofu. Would it be okay for you if we parted ways? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Why, well, thank you. I'll never forget you folks here. Never forget how important it is to have the, what that say. Okay, bye. You take care now, Mary Lou. I'll be praying for y'all to have a safe trip. <laughs> yes, go, Hoffman. Live your dreams. I'll miss him and his accent. Astraeus is Abacus, Cottery Sword. Ooh, Cottery Sword! Hey, where have you been all my life? It's actually not that much better than my Steel Broadsword, but eh. Ba -dum. <gasps> Whoa, wait! Why did Hoffman leave? So he could stay here and try and open up an inn. Do some commerce. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, you, you want to give that over to... <laughs> I held on to that so long for a five defense increase. All right. Sell this. Well, in a way, I did make a lot of money out of that. 
Wait, do I still get good item drops and uh, and money just for having uh, Torneco in the party? Like, does that passive still carry on? Oh my god, do you still have that thing? Where'd your safe go? Huh? Torneco gets a new feature instead? Yeah, sell that. Your man Hoffman was a good crack, like, I wish he stayed with us a bit longer. A lot of glory to be had with him. Oh, yeah, you would have liked talking with him. The important thing is he still has lunch. That's right, I still have the lunch on him, don't I? Iron helmet. Pretty good. Hey, Music Slider, thank you for following. Welcome to the Null Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay. Ah, I, is it really worth spending that much for the Kari Sword? His wife made that for him, you know. That is true. Oh, you know what I should probably do? I should probably let everyone know over on the... Uh... Oh, man. I should probably... Uh, let everyone know that we're alive at our regular t whoops, at our regular time. What do I have? It's only like 87 damage, Cottery Sword is 92, and it's like a lot of money, so I don't know if it's really worth getting Cottery Sword, if I'm being honest. Yeah, let me, uh, before we keep going, let me let everyone know on the Discord that we are... There we go. This. Okay. Let's give everyone a heads up. All right. No. Nobody can hold against me. All right. <laughs> I think I will buy that helmet, though. You can never say no to good armor. Okay. I'd love to equip that now. Uh, oh, Tornico can wear it too. Yeah, give that to Tornico. You can still be yeeting? I do be yeeting, yes. Hey, Fallen Frozen Cookie, thank you for following. Enjoy your stay here. Uh, Tornico, let's see. What do you have? Eye for distance, nose for treasure, pad foot. Right. I looked up, if you never picked up the safe in Chapter 3, you can go get it now, but it no longer does anything. Damn. So it's just there to make his chapter easier. Hey, Comrade Coyote, thank you for the 28-month resub. Belated birthday -een. Thank you. You want you want to ask if I'm the geezer who knows a lot about the ocean? Yeah. You muppet. I don't only know about the ocean. I know every fin there is to know about every fin. You muppet. I ain't got time for lightweights to your homework properly next time for you start asking questions. Nice hands, yup, I don't only know about the ocean or fin, there is about everything. The name's Comrade Ilton, that's Ilton with an H. With a hate, with an H? I'd say you've got promise, young one. I think I'm in England. So reckon your game? Wanna have a bash in my little test? Uh, sure. Here's the question. What's the single most important thing when it comes to business? Uh... I couldn't have said it better myself, you're right. <laughs> Silence is golden, as they say. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you me old treasure map for doing so well. I come across when I was a niphead, but I never did figure out where the treasure was. It's yours. What the fuck is English? Okay, thanks. I think. Maybe you'll be able to find the treasure, eh? You should give it a go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
A small child? Oh, Alright. I was like, since I was a wee lad. Yeah, I don't speak British. That's all I know about British euphemisms? <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah? Hmm. The best room in town is vacant tonight. It's got your name on it. Looking for a room, you've come to the right place. I would love to rest. Thank you. Well, I'm truly dragged out yesterday. That old man Hilton sure is a tougher way of dealing with folk. Maybe I've done God and made myself a mistake coming to be an apprentice and all. On the southeastern side of the Surat continent lies the empire of Perthenia, renowned for its miraculous medicinal crops. When I mentioned it to the princess who was staying at the inn, she dashed off that another word. Oh! Elena? <laughs> but you all got up here. Oh, hey, it's you! Oh, no. As you are seeing, my traveling fellow is very sickened. Our mistress, the royal Sarevna Elena, has gone alone to locate medicines. So I'm concerning for her safety, too. I know it's eccentric to request favor from strange person, but I'm seeing you have kind art. Will you locate Sarevna for me and give her to some assistance? Okay. Thank you very much, I'm Dub Borea. I will also accompany with you. Hey, hey Borea. Because the continuing adventures of Square Minus Seven, ah, it goes well. Very well, I'm going a little advance request from Innkeeper Nursing of Kerr Hill. I'm waiting afterwards that you come out to wag and see you momentarily. Oh, okay, bye. The cats in this town zooted? Not too zooted. So Kirill wound up getting sick, and Serevna wound up running out to go find medicine. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a seed of wisdom. Yeah, I kind of just want to give all the seeds to uh, Protag. <laughs> all right. Do it? Yeah, I'm doing it. Give Kirill a world true leaf, make him smoke it. <laughs> Oh no, Paulos is down, Linda says as she's rolling a joint to stick in his mouth. <laughs> oh lord. Call him the god of trade so he got to see what was so special, but he's just a wrinkly old man. I already talked to you. Hey. Minzos may be a big place now, but it was nothing before Comrade Elton came along. He's when he built that lovely inn of ours. Did they say the, uh, the medicine thing was to the east? Hey, faithful servant of the goddess. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, save. East, I thought they said yeast. 